Hi, I have tried to make this intro so many times. I don't know if I'm gonna make this succinctly as possible, but this is the last take I'm doing because I just need to react to this video. I was in multi-level marketing for five years. The company I was with was Mon8, but I was also part of a multi-level marketing coaching cult called Rank Makers, and it's run by Ray Higdon. Thousands of us were in this group. If you, I'm trying to, trying to find the words to give you an idea of how um, our experiences are similar to other people in multi-level marketing and also very different and need to be discussed. This stuff needs to be exposed. Picture the most egregious Hun behavior that you've seen. People making wild claims. And now multiply that by two. So somebody's in like Amare or um, Plexus or Mon8 or Frequence. And they're also in this thing called rank makers, but you're not really aware that they're in this group rank makers. You might, you, you will be soon enough because people will be posting about it. But it, this one, it's all personal development, all about learning how to psychologically and emotionally manipulate people, but you don't realize you're doing that. You think you're becoming more vulnerable. How to use your trauma and abuse and also use other people's trauma and abuse to target them and manipulate them to get them to buy your products and ultimately recruit them into your pyramid scheme under the guise of helping them and you breaking through limiting beliefs, you not wanting to talk about your trauma, you not um, having um, a, 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 it's a word I'm looking for. You not having, you not want the resistance to manipulating somebody else's abuse to further the conversation to get them into your multi level marketing company is you holding yourself back. It's so twisted. So many people in these different multi level marketing companies were trained by Ray Higdon. We all learn this shit in rank makers. And I know it goes back, you know, like there's these different, like you go, everything goes back to Amway, but this is different. It is not the same as being in a multi-level marketing company and you're getting these additional coaches and these this courses and these um, cassette tapes. This is something else. There's two cults that we're a part of, anybody that's been in, in part of rank makers. And I'm, I hope I'm doing a good job explaining this, giving you like a little bit of an intro. I've done a lot of content on this. My experience in rank makers woke me up from being in multi-level marketing and it put a fire under my ass to expose it and multi-level marketing. This is uh, kind of like my first video where I told my story with, with receipts on uh, here on YouTube. And you might want to check that out. I, I'm a, you can see I'm a little bit more hesitant. I still have the fire though. I'm proud of myself. I was looking back a little bit of it today and I'm like, good for you. But I was saying, it's like, oh, this is my experience and my opinion. I don't say that shit anymore. And I don't say words like the MLM industry. That was before I had learned that I shouldn't be saying that because I'm giving power to these cults by pretending to use like, you're using this pretend business language to give them legitimacy. But um, yeah, that will give you a, a good, base understanding of a little bit of an overview of rank makers anyway your first introduction to it so since i left he decided now there's a lot of things that have happened i'm glossing over so many things here he decided he was a prophet so he has uh, been really heavy into relig like religious manipulation he's been so effective at this that a lot of people um looking at him are more uh, manipulated by discussing whether he actually believes in God or is a, he's actually a Christian rather than looking at the abuse that he's doing to people. He can be a fucking idiot, but he's also very fucking smart. He's very dangerous. It's easy to diminish people in these scams, um, to laugh at them, but the abuse is real. The consequences are real. What has been done to my friends, to other people that are still trapped inside this cult that they don't think they are. They think I'm a hater. It's all the usual things. Is horrible. I still get contacted by people that are still leaving right now. And I'm, I know people will still continue to leave over the years. And some will never leave. They'll still think. They'll follow him till the ends of the earth, you know. And which is scary because he decided he's a prophet and freely interprets the Bible to give you... Um, 
any just takes a passage and then we'll do a live video training on it. And everybody's like, oh my God, this is the most powerful, amazing, incredible thing I've ever heard. I need to get to your next event. Used to be called Rank Makers Live. Now they had to rebrand to Faith Over Fear Live, especially after me and other whistleblowers came forward and were loud, making content all over the place. I know you might never have heard about this. And it's like, this is so fucking niche. I have never heard of this. In the in the small pocket of the world <laughs> where this matters to people, it did make enough of uh, a dent to really um, cause the dominoes to fall. Like Nilo Life likes to say, the dominoes are falling. The dominoes do begin to fall. And it's something uh, that I, I like to say, like it just takes one match to start a fire. You can just start speaking out and and then other people start speaking out too, you know. Okay, so this video is uh, recently, uh, like the last couple of days from Ray Higdon and his wife, Jessica Higdon. I haven't looked at what he's done. He's, he blocked me a while ago when I um, I started, I just kept speaking out. I'm like, you, you're gonna have to fucking block me. I'm like, no way. He, he had friended me after I won one of his contests. Oh, oh my God. Anyway, I'm not gonna get into all of that. Um, so, but he hasn't blocked me on YouTube. And then people will send me things now and then. So I, I respect the block. You know, I won't go, uh, I, I, I respect that. Um, and also I can see I've reacted to things um, that I purchased and just expose it. And also like here on YouTube, if there's like a video that he's done, then I'll react to that. But somebody had sent me this. Apparently this was done on his uh, Facebook page. Now, with this other coaching cult, it's not a multi-level marketing company. That's uh, something that I might need to explain. It's just we're all thinking that we need to work on ourselves, so we go into here. And we're encouraged to get other people in, but we're not incentivized like in an MLM. But we are incentivized like we're in a cult. So we'll get like attention from the different coaches or, um, or from Ray or... Um, from each other like good for you like this is so amazing. i brought in my team like we feel so good it um you might be enticed with getting a ring light or merch because they have this merch that they would sell to the lore with rank makers is so fucking deep it's a whole it's a whole genre it's a whole fucking unique rabbit hole that you might really enjoy if you start finding i'd start looking at my 14 day challenge content your mind is going to be blown Never mind the play to win. The two reality shows, it's very dark. You will get sick to your stomach. Please take care of your mental health. There are no trigger warnings. In the videos, it's so bad. Any topic you can think of, this is no exaggeration, he will bring up at the most inopportune time. Even if you thought there's no, I don't even use the word trigger. I don't even like it. You will get triggered. <laughs> it's that bad. So um, if you want to go on, like do more um, familiar, familiarize yourself more with about like rank makers and Ray and uh, the grossness that it is, I've made a lot of content on that. Okay, so now this video they have, I think they're trying to, um, because their numbers are dwindling in this Facebook group, more and more people have made content on them. More and more people have left rank makers. A lot of people of faith, have um that was a turnoff was when he suddenly found god found jesus they were like this is fake as fuck they could see through it this is i just feel so bad for people of faith like people of uh, christian faith that they're manipulated now by him it's so gross but it's a cult you know and i'm just i just know what it's taken for me to unpack to heal from being in rank makers, I don't even know what the hell it's going to be like for people of faith because that has been completely messed up. It's it's hard enough trying to um, say, okay, well, this leadership concept is real. All these things are valid, but he stained all of them. All of them are distorted. All of them are true, but all of them are warped. And I can't imagine what it's like for people of faith now where everything they believe has been so tainted by it you know like oh so but i know more that was the point that like a lot of people kind of woke up they're like i'm out when he decided that he has found god not only that but he's a prophet and he says it in this way i'm not saying i'm a prophet yeah and because that's what people normally say you know anyway they would always sell all this shit when we were in rank makers and so many of us would be so excited to buy stuff like a prospecting journal 
I would be like, how many people did you prospect? Write their name and write the date and when you're going to follow up with them. And then there was the whole thing of Wealth Wednesday. You could purchase Wealth Wednesday cards that had the brand of rank makers because of, to improve your money mindset, you'd have to put in like a dollar or $20 or whatever and go run out into the neighborhood and give this to someone and don't expect anything in return. This is just one small piece. That's Wealth Wednesday. Then there was like the, the clothing. There's so much stuff. So anyway, somebody had sent me this um, and they're in their warehouse and I think they're trying to you know, make some money. <laughs> They're always trying to make some money. And it looks like a fucking gong show. It looks fabulous. So this is the video. And yes, they are wearing sequins. So if you are in rank makers and you have exited, it doesn't matter how much shit, you know, like we put up with, not only with rank makers, but our own like multi-level marketing companies, at least we can say that we exited before Ray entered his sequin era. <laughs> Let's go, Nilo! Hello. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. What is happening? We are so excited yes. because it is our warehouse sale. <laughs> and are you in for a deal? <laughs> Can you imagine dressing up in a sequin, two sequin blazers and g driving to the warehouse with your rank makers, journals and shirts. And like, this is a sale. This is welcome to rank makers. Now you're going to see if, if you're new to my content, maybe you just kind of like introduce, you're introduced to me through transact card, Finmore Nilo life. And that, and you're like, okay, wait, you, you have a story. I get it. Oh, you have no idea. You have no idea. This is going to give you like a little bit of a window. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> so just imagine. This is why I always think you like you get in the vehicle, you're driving, you're in your sequin blazer. You're like, let's do this. This is great. <laughs> we brought, busted out our shiny jackets we, for you. Yeah, we dressed in our finest apparel. That's right. This, uh, That's right. Quote unquote QVC. A fucking crucifix hanging from his neck. This is so obscene. Look at this. Type That's warehouse right. sale. That is correct. All right, babe, you get started. I'm going to share it to a few places. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm going to go. Well, I guess I'll just stay here. So uh, until I go behind. Always with the like, can you imagine like you've been doing this for so long and you still can't just figure out how to stream to multiple platforms at once? Isn't this just nuts? This is so stupid. I cannot believe I was part of this cult. I still can't. But now I have more um um I don't know, understanding for myself or compassion for myself. Like I get it. I get you don't know until you get out. You don't know until you see, but still, I'm allowed to say I can't believe I was in this thing. This <laughs> freaking nuts and show you what oh, we got but first oh i want to share because i don't think you did yes like this is something you need i looked up to this guy many of us took notes we hung on every word he said go look at my other content i i can't you're gonna see i made it as like fun as i could there's so many different things that i think that you'll really like, you really like to learn about. And you're going to learn all the different little definitions that I use and so many of us use. And you're gonna be able to use that and see who has been in rank makers at the other top of these pyramid schemes. You can smell a fucking rank maker from a mile away. Last Give it, time. wait, wait a, wait a little bit. Wait for a few more people to come on before you get into story mode. So right now let's just be welcoming people. Let's just say, hello, hello, how are you doing? He's a genius at, um, making content this is how you do look at look at how ridiculous this is. if you've been in rank makers remember how we were taught that you don't do this because it's so rude to other people who have tuned in to watch you and there's like faces like come on it's just his nose and his mouth and the crucifix oh my god don't do it don't do it jessica uh, you got to talk to people first so we she's been making videos for a long time too when he fucking asked me to shout him out on TikTok to send followers his way. <laughs> I, I got so much tea. Oh, this is why I took so many tries 
trying to do this intro. Okay, I just got to press play on this fucking thing. We got Bob, we got Tim, we got uh, Barbara, we got Mary, we got Shelly, Pamela. Yeah, and guys, you're going to want to share this because we have some amazing deals for you, some of which are literally a dollar. So it's going to be fun. We're going to have a good time. For sure. Uh, lots of exciting mystery. This is a, this is a separate cult. This is called Rank Makers. Jessica Higdon, Higdon, Ray Higdon. They've dressed up in two sequined blazers to sell some of their shitty merch. She loves fucking glitter. Many of us spent thousands of dollars on all this shit. This is so nuts looking back. Three boxes. And this is still going on! Boxes that we'll be throwing together and uh, some really girly. Who's that guy? Which is why I'm included in this one. Who's that some guy? Girly, fun, that feminine, guy? exciting, um, beautiful, sparkly, glittery. Yeah, there's this weird thing, the feminine energy. They remind me of that Jeff and Shalea from that other cult. That's what these two remind me of now. She was going on about feminine energy. I remember even when I was in Rank Makers, and I was like, what are you talking about? It's like, we like to dress up in high heels and do this. I'm like, not all of us like to do that all the time. It's like, what is it? But it's this weird um, fascination, this very... Um, uh, this weird view of what it is to be feminine it's so fucking weird it always has to do with pink and wearing and have glitter though <laughs> and makeup <laughs> uh type of type of um jewelry and tools and things that us women will love so they make great gifts they make great uh you might get a gift from your uh <clears throat> multi-level marketing participant who's in rank makers just wait. Oh, it's going to be so nice, especially for us women. <laughs> uh, great team gifts. And uh, and I think you guys will really, really love it. And we're going to have some fun. So let's see who we got here. Sharon. Hello, Brenda. What's up, Robert? When they do this is that when you're in multi-level marketing, when you get any kind of attention, especially hearing your name on read by somebody that is like a leader of one of these cults, you feel chosen. You feel very special. People will actually talk about it. They're like, Oh, they said your name on video. I know how this sounds, but I, if you can just imagine the fuckery that you've seen, the worst fuckery that you've seen in any MLM and multiply it by two. That's how, because they're in two cults at the same time. So they're all like, this is, think of the state that your friend's mind is in when they think this is riveting and good. And I'm not discounting what other people have gone through, like being in a multi-level marketing company. I, I don't want it to come across as that. I'm trying to find a way to get our experiences seen. And I'm I'm struggling to find the words to say it. So that's that's where this is coming from. I'm trying to give language, show and 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 explain and maybe create some understanding to see it's like this is so much more than you watching two bozos in a sequence trying to sell stuff. This is so much more than that. And and so, yeah, okay. This is going to be a long video. <laughs> this video is an hour long and I'm, you know me. If you don't know me, I like to talk and comment a lot. Jocelyn, uh, can I? Can you share it to mine too or no? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. He's sharing it to mine too. Actually, give me your phone. Okay, there you go. All right, so I want to... Give me your phone. He's more of a fucking dick now, eh? Or was he always like that? I, there was always that pretense. This is if you were in rank makers. Um, there was always that thing. It's like, oh, my beautiful wife, Jessica. She's so amazing. She's so incredibly smart. It's always like the superlative. But this is kind of like he's throwing shade already from the beginning. That's what I see. But maybe this was going on already. Um, I know when I was reacting to previously uh, previous 14 day challenge videos, I was like, oh, but he wasn't like this when I was in. And somebody had pointed out um, in the comments that no, Julie, you're just finally seeing it. It was always there. And I remember that comment really stuck out. I'm like, shit, you're right. Like I, even after I left and even after when I was speaking out and even when I was confronted myself with the video evidence, I was still like, oh, but it wasn't as bad as when I was in it. It was, it still was like the, the veil was still lifting, you know, it's just nuts. So that's why I don't know if, if, if he was always like that to her. And don't think uh, that she is any angel. She's fucking horrible too. What she did to those contestants, those both reality shows. 
to get into they deserve each other let's just say that to the story behind this warehouse and where we are i don't think ray shared that last time before he jumps on here and we get into some of the fun uh tools and and um, apparel and things that we have for you so we not only are you spending money every month on auto ship on your products if you're monade or arbon or saint makeup or primerica or whatever you're doing whatever you need to get this amazing um subscription service to enroll all your cards or this incredible world-class website but then you're in a completely different thing this entity that's going to help you grow your first thing because we're different here we're a special breed of network marketers we're committed to raising the vibration of the entire industry. We show up with integrity. We're like a secret tribe of sorts. And we have tools for you to purchase, which will help you with your company. Yes, your company has all these great resources and all that, but we really have the secret stuff. And so because you're in and you're paying this monthly membership, or maybe you purchased a lifetime membership, which you're supposed to have lifetime access to the group, which I did, but then I got removed from the group. Well, I actually left the group and then I can't get back in. And then they're like, um, I actually should phone them and say, I want my money back. I could fucking record that and make a piece of content with that <laughs> sometime. But then I'm like, no, we'll just see. <laughs> But I, I, I kind of think about that every once in a while. I did pay for lifetime access. I don't have it. I know there's other people who have left and have spoken out. They don't have access anymore, even though we paid for this lifetime access, you know? Anyway, I, I can go on and I will. So then you're supposed to purchase like these journals and um, that you're going to, you know, write your affirmations in, and gratitude journals and clothing. And this is going to, you know, people are going to ask about your business. They're going to ask about rank makers. You're going to be like, this is, I'm part of this amazing, positive, uplifting community that helps network marketers grow their individual businesses. So you're, per you're, remember, you're in your one company, purchasing all the shit, doing all the trainings, and you're also in this thing. And people are tuning into this live and they're just like, oh, this is so cool. What are you going to sell? This is, they're in their warehouse. Oh, they're wearing glitter blazers oh, how funny they're so much fun this is so great i'm not exaggerating that is what people are thinking that's what i would be thinking fuck started with our friend you wonder why there hasn't been many people speaking out yet about rank makers this is fucking why wait just wait you'll in the years to come there'll be more and more people you know Look back at any of my videos that I've covered on this, this 14 day challenge, and you'll be like, holy shit. It's <laughs> Jeff and Tyla, who I actually met through network marketing, and she also had a sandal company, her and her husband. And the sandal company was built from, from scratch. She did the patent herself. She sourced everything herself. And it's it was truly incredible what they had done with it. And one day, Ray and I were just talking and we were like, you know, we'd really love to have something that people can wear that not only sparks conversation, but also uplifts them, makes them feel good. We want them to have something physical in their hands. There's so much of this digital wor world nowadays. We want them to have something that helps them build their businesses so that they we want to make something to make us more money to leech off the people in multi-level marketing and sell them something yet again that they don't need. But really, we're all just about helping you. I'm deciphering this for people that may be like, you're just starting to come out of rank makers. And I'm like, I'm back. I'm back making rank maker content. Better than ever. <laughs> they have essentially financial freedom. Some people know me as baby doll now. <laughs> but also uplifts their spirits so they have mental freedom and mental we started freedom. with a hat we just started with a hat and i asked tyla this is the amazing way that god works because we had no idea what it would turn into i just said hey do you think that you could make this for me she's like absolutely i can make anything for you and i was like really that's so cool because i have no idea where to start or how to make something that's high quality and people love and she said, no, I, I do all of that. So I'm like, okay, great. So I'm like, let's start with this hat. So we started with one hat. We bought a hundred of them and we thought, is anybody going to love this? Anybody gonna like this? Well, they sold out in like a few minutes. 
So we're like, okay. Holy shit. And I bet you what happens, it was because of God's fault. Or it's all because of God. God did this. We sold out in a hundred, just like this. Most of this is just bullshit. And if you're in, you're an ex-rank maker, you know exactly what I'm talking about. She'll say things like, and Ray will do the same thing. They'll get, they'll say, oh, we sold out so quickly. But what they'll do is like, even when they wrote that book, that time and money freedom book, is they bribed people in rank makers to go leave fake reviews. They say, don't, don't, you don't have to leave a review. Make sure it's really genuine. But if you do, let us know and you'll be entered into a draw to win one of our incredible tools that we have. So you're in a cult. They're just mobilizing the cult to, to leave fake reviews on Amazon. I mean, if you look at this book, it is so bad. It is so poorly written. Um, an ex uh, rank maker had sent me her copy of it. I've ripped pages of it slowly and into little pieces at the end of a number of my videos. <laughs> and my live streams, you gotta check out my live streams too. So if you're on my channel, you're like, how much content have you made on this? Oh fuck, I've made so much. And I'll continue to make a lot. And this is just on YouTube. This doesn't even count what I've done on TikTok. But a lot of the, um, on my live streams, I've shown this book and read a little bit of passages uh, from it. It's, it's, dis it's just ridiculous. It's so stupid. And yet you have all these people leaving these comments like it's the best thing that was ever written. And it is just like the worst word sal salad um, brainwashing. You can tell it was written by, um, it's just, it's like that, that Jeff and Shalia. It's so fucking weird. So it's just, uh, and so what they do, it, it, they'd be bribing rank makers to not only leave reviews, but then if you buy 10 books, then you can get a 10 minute coaching call with me, the one and only Ray Higdon. Oh, that was such a coveted thing. So you'd have these people that were at the top of these multi-level marketing companies like Angel, Fletcher. You guys, I've shared with you. How many of you guys are in rank makers? Raise your hand. Wow. Oh my gosh. If you're not in rank makers and you're wondering why you're not successful, that's the answer. Don't look no more. Am I right, guys, rank makers? Who else was in there? Oh, Jeff Altgil Altgilbers. I was desperate. <laughs> yeah. So, but it also I'm thinking I'm the guy that sold a junk truck to get started, right? Yeah. And now inside the house is Angel Fletcher. Three years ago, she was on food stamps. Yeah. She was on Crazy. food stamps. Today, she's a multimillionaire. Yeah. Then we have Nicole, is it Jackson? Nicola Smith Jackson. Yeah. yeah, okay. Nicola Jackson. When she signed up in her company, she didn't even know it was network marketing. Yeah. Yeah, she, she talks about how she held a home meeting and one of her friends that was there said, hey, could I do this? And she goes, I don't know. And she, and she, she goes to her sponsor and says, hey, could my friend do this? And they're like, uh, yeah. <laughs> and that's who Ray's entertaining and yeah. Jess is entertaining tonight. Three people yeah. that, you know, we're very unlikely people. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. See, we're no different than you guys. Right. We really aren't. This guy was like the crown jewel in Ray's fucking like life is like this guy has like 700,000 people in his downline or whatever it was and he would always buy like so much so much of everything and then he would get like more attention from ray so even people that are fucking loaded at the top of these pyramid schemes were enthralled by ray and they they probably still are which is really fucking weird and so they would just buy all this shit and they'd be like oh my god i get so this is why they would sell out so many things <laughs> or they might just say Oh, maybe we ordered a um, hundred and we just gave them out to our staff and it's just sold out like that. Everything is deception. Okay, this is cool. And so we started brainstorming more. What can we do to help people build their businesses? What can we imagine you're selling a hat for a multi-level marketing coaching cult? And then you say, what can we do to help people? They will not say that they're just trying to sell it to make money. Isn't this just devious? So your friends and family that are taking additional coaching from a group like Rank Makers outside of their multi-level marketing company are getting doubly indoctrinated. And, Dude. and this shit is compelling when you're in. And it makes it harder to leave too. Well, I shouldn't say harder. I don't know. It's hard for anybody to leave. But it's just another, um, it's just another, topic that needs to be explored, you know?
to help people feel good about themselves and spark conversations with other people to make them feel good about themselves. How can we spread this around? There's too many uh, physical things, tools, apparel, everything that is spreading negative stuff versus positive. So we just started too many. Ne what are the too many negative things? You see, it's just word salad. There's too many physical tools and negative things. It's like a shirt that says, fuck you. That's so negative. We need to write something that's like, praise God, come to faith over fear live. And this is so positive. This is going to spark conversation. All right. <laughs> People are gonna be like, they're in that cult. <laughs> Stay away. We're actually doing this for you. This is such a hard sell to people that are still in rank makers that they've had to like like sink to this level of wearing sequined blazers in their warehouse just begging their participants to purchase their shit oh so gross creating fun stuff for you, for you to feel good, build your business and actually works and is highly effective. And in addition to books and all those things. So that little conversation works and is highly effective. This was quite the fucking hat. This hat was unlike any other hat you've ever seen. It spreads, it counteracts all the negativity that other tools and physical things happen. And this thing, this hat, it sold out like that. And so we need to like help you grow your business, feel really good, like just saying nothing. In between uh, a few friends. Everybody's like, give me your phone. I need to change your phone. Oh no, stop. He's like this. He's fucking like the greatest fucking thing. Don't say this. Oh. Make sure I get my crucifix right up there. It's like, say hi to everybody first and then I'll do this. <laughs> no wonder the um, more and more people are waking up. You don't even have to do anything. Just like let this play and people are like, oh my God, I'm out. <laughs> turn into this. And I'm just going to turn the camera around. I don't know if Ray showed you the, the warehouse. But Whoa, we have looks like you got too much stock. What are you going to do with all that shit? Oh, and the shipping is high. Oh, especially now, especially in Canada with the carbon tax. Good luck sending any of that shit to Canada. Everybody's like it. It was expensive when I was in rank makers, 2017, 18 to 2021. <laughs> Sometimes you'd, you'd like buy something for $30. It would be like $30 shipping and handling and you'd be berated. Oh, I know the shipping is really too high, but this is such an incredible product that you should just not complain. Just like all cults do. And we're like, oh, well, you're right. I shouldn't even complain. I should just buy it. But look at all that stock, all that rank maker shit. <laughs> There's so many, there's so many tangents I could go on right now, because if you're new to my content, I don't even know where to begin. I just, yeah, you'll see if you, if you choose, if you choose to go down that rabbit hole, get some popcorn, stay hydrated, make sure you like set a timer or whatever. Be like, okay, I have to get up, go look at some sunshine, get a drink of water and then go back because <laughs> of now a whole nother leg of the Higdon group with uplifting apparel, jewelry. Who are those people in the background there? Look at that. They're like, oh, shit, why did you pan to us? Look at all their stuff they're trying to unload. Wow. Let's show everybody how invested we are and we are desperate for money. Good luck selling this stuff. Tools. He's back there, Sharon, Sharon. And, uh, and a lot of fun stuff that people are just ranting and raving over to help you. Who are, who is ranting and raving over it? People are hundreds of people. <laughs> oh, fuck. This is incredible. In the world today and get to your next goal and where you want to be. So with that being. People are ranting and raving over these products to get you to the next goal, wherever you want to be by buying a hat or a ring light. Like, isn't this nuts? said uh we have this stuff we're like let's share with everyone everything that we've created and let's make it fun and exciting ray and i are gonna have some fun we're gonna play off of each other hopefully in a happy way not get we'll not fight too much over these items we'll because see. they are pretty awesome and we're gonna get started holy fuck <laughs> this is incredible
this is classic rank makers right here and this is new this is just from like yesterday or the day before fuck this is awesome isn't that just so you can feel like the hostility you gotta try to be friendly we're gonna try to do it in a friendly way and play off each other this stuff is so incredible that as we're trying to sell it we might actually get mad at each other because we each want it so much it makes no fucking sense all these poor people that in rank makers that are still in there god help you if you were new after i left and then he became a prophet and you got sucked into this if if go ahead babe. Oh, okay welcome to my table i don't know if you can see the sparkles from back here but this is what rank makers has come to look at this well that's what happens look at this there's some fucking pink sparkly like a tablecloth and uh and then all their shit on it isn't this hilarious i can't even believe this <laughs> Yeah. There's a lot. I know this is probably going to be so boring to you if you have no idea what Rank Makers is. But for those of us who have been in it, and for those who have been with me from the beginning of my anti MLM journey, you're gonna, you know, <laughs> a lot of sparkles. Sparkles here, sparkles here, sparkles on my wrist, which we'll talk about. Okay, so I don't. The fuck did I look up to these people? I took notes for five years i don't think i will ever get over this i really don't like the the um the mystification as to how i did not see this for what it was i would pause videos and i would write down verbatim because i knew that by writing it down it would sink into my subconscious even more okay okay I'm Trying to stay focused just on this video. We have our beautiful progress planner, which might be giving you a little bit more window, peeking behind the curtain as to like, what the fuck did you go through, Julie? <laughs> You're seeing it bit by bit. <laughs> we are. I'm gonna just make sure I don't screw this up here. What are we selling this for? 20. 20 bucks, right? 20 bucks. It's usually 40. So this is half off. Now with these progress planners, this is actually dare I say, one of my favorite items that we have because it's very strategic in how you are planning out your year. Oh and there's different prompts God. in here that help you Look at this. to really focus on the next step in your journey. Too many of us are- Can you imagine you leave, the, they're like, we were the number one income earners in our multi-level marketing company. We're so great. I've made all these courses, how to make $10,000 in your first month, oh, all this stuff. And you resort to getting can you imagine where'd you go like amazon or like a dollar store and get like this pink fucking thing you get your assistant you're like yeah i want to get the pink glitter thing and i need you to get that wrapped up because me and ray are going to be going live yeah i need i love the pink and don't mess, mess it up like last time last time you didn't you stapled it you could see the staple it was facing the audience i don't i want it to be seamless you know i like my sparkles all right thank you she's such a fucking cunt right she just never does it right <laughs> this is so stupid this is where they've ended up just all their shit all of this shit these stupid journals <laughs> shirts glitter pens oh please make the ring light still be there the fucking ring light Oh my God, Rank Maker sold this ring light. If you're new to Rank Maker lore, maybe we're going to see the ring light. And they're standing there talking about this. And this is so painful. This is so slow. And I don't know how to speed this up because this is a video file. Focused on um, how can we get to that $10 million, right? Which is great. You should have go big goals like that. I'm not saying- You got to buy this book and write down that you're going to get to $10 million, but you need to spend only $20. This is going to help you manifest it. I think that's amazing. But what are you, what is your next step? What are you going to do next? What What is your calendar going to be filled up with? Well, I guess I'm going to try to avoid anti-MLM content. And if I've been in Randy Schroeder 
or Eric Allen's downline in fin from Finmore, a lot of those participants have been talking about mass reporting anti MLM content. I think I'll spend a lot of my DMO doing that, making fake reports. And then I have to prospect people. And then I'm going to be like, I have to like leave some comments telling people how much of a hater they are. Well, and then I got to reel it back in and then I got to do more personal development and then get back in time to watch another Nilo Life presentation live on a Zoom call or video and make sure you share it and tell your team. That's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to write it down in this book <laughs> with my glitter pen. Holy fuck. And I've done a lot oh. of trainings on okay, it might be time for me to do more rank maker. Maybe just dip my toe back in and just see what what the fuck has been going on since I haven't looked at it in a while. Holy shit. On this progress planner. First, let me say um I am not a planner. Okay? Just flat out wow. Getting oh, organized in what's going to happen <gasps> next in my day or next in my week. That's why sometimes I drive our team absolutely crazy. It was a huge feat for me. But I recognize the importance because every mentor that we've had, every single mentor that we've had, talked about the importance. So what's going on there is that um, having people at your beck and call do whatever you say. If they say jump, it's like how high? That's what's really going on here. I, I'm just not, I just wasn't a planner until we invented this journal or this planner and then everything changed it's like a, everything that they're going to sell has literally transformed not only their lives but also hundreds of people's lives <laughs> don't underestimate these two especially fucking ray don't underestimate them they have trained a lot of people that you have seen at the top of these different uh pyramid schemes of planning out your calendar, of filling your calendar, of planning out your next steps. What's immediately after, what's going to follow this week, this month, even this year. What, what the fuck? You have to like do your DMO every day. You got to prospect, do a live video, follow up with people. The fortune is in the follow-up. Get to your company's live event. For sure, get to like faithoverfearlive.com. Don't get a virtual ticket, get there in person. And then that's going to get them to $10 million. <laughs> Manifest, affirmations, be gra be grateful, give money to improve your money mindset. Oh yeah, we got all the things down. Just the same shit. Still manipulating people. To help you get to that $10 million goal, right? And the advantages of color coding oh and time God. blocking. Oh my God, here he is. Fucking man of the hour. Back at it. It's fucking glitter. The sequin jacket. This is fabulous. <laughs> Those words were like four letter words to me. I did not like color coding, time blocking, organizing so my boring. time. So boring. Some of you are like, ah, color coding. I can't wait. Um, but this helps with all of that so that you can understand how to get to that next level. And for anyone who orders one of these, the progress planners, 20 bucks, 50% off. Uh, I'm going to do a training on how to time block so that and how to you're gonna do a training on how to time block when you're you can't you just said that you are terrible at uh managing your time but it isn't they just fuck the trainings are just such a joke they're so stupid they just go on and on and we all hung on their every word and people still are hanging on their every word they are glued glued to this <laughs> color code time block so that you get more out of your life the last thing that if you're an ex rank maker and you're feeling the sting of shame. I'm telling you, the way through it is just to face it. Walk into it and it disappears. It's still there, but it's not as powerful. Like, that's my best advice. If the shame is also a tool to meant us, like to meant to keep us from even acknowledging like what we've been part of. Like it, and it doesn't mean like you need to do a live video. It doesn't mean even need to mean that you need to speak out. But just like face it in your way, like, and it lessens and, and humor has been a good way through this for me and for many of us. So you're not alone. These, these guys are a fucking joke and more and more of the world are seeing it. It's, it's horrible what they've done to so many people and what they continue to do. Body ourselves oh, for fuck. you is that this thing is full of just work. 
Okay, it's important to be productive, absolutely. But production doesn't necessarily equal time. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Production doesn't necessarily equal time. She is literally saying nothing, just going on and on. Oh, I'm still so blown away. This is like, I'm so close to this because this was my fucking cult. <laughs> this is when it's helpful for other anti-MLM content creators to speak out on this. If you ever want to cover rank maker content, I still have access to Higdon University. I will give you my code. Get in there, expose this fucker. Like this, more people need to speak out on this. I don't need to be, I don't want to be the only one. Like I know it's important to have, you know, the survivor's voices, you know, come out in that, but I'm asking you, anybody, please make content on rank makers for, for us <laughs> and to warn others. Fuck. And so I'm going to do a training on how to take back control of your life with some of those strategies and some of those categories so that you, you know exactly how to utilize this tool and take back control of your life and actually be productive. So hey, let's just make it really interesting. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. So anyone that buys a progress journal, I thought that was interesting. <laughs> one of you is going to get a hundred dollar bill. All right. So I'm going to tape this into here. Oh my God. So you buy the progress journal. It's what on. A fucking cock. <laughs> He's the same asshole more than ever. Like I got this hundred dollar bill. I just pulled it out of my ass. <laughs> I'm so rich from all my rank makers giving me money. I'm going to tape it in here. Let's make it. How desperate is this? He peeled that thing off. There's no way anybody's getting that hundred dollars. I'll tell you that right now. This guy's the cheapest fucking prick ever. Made content on that. Trying to get my winnings from the 14 day challenge. Oh no, I never got anything. I did get fucking ring light. <laughs> more journals, more shit. More shit that's probably still in these boxes they're trying to fob off on, any, on everybody. Fuck. Half oh. price. One of you is going to get a hundred dollar bill. And when you get this and take a picture of it and tag me, I'm also going to give you a 10 minute coaching call. How's that? Wow. That's amazing. And for anybody that calls in the next 42 minutes, you're going to receive 19.99 capybara completely free of charge. You'll have to pay shipping and handling, but this is absolutely crazy. <laughs> Nobody has seen anything like it. How's that? Holy Fuck. How? How? <laughs> it, always Marco was, when he was reacting to some of these uh, reality shows, he was making fun of Jessica saying how. <laughs> that's been another, that's been, that's been added to the um, survivor lore now. We, in our little private group chats, all ex rank makers, we're like, <laughs> how? <laughs> Humor helps. <laughs> Oh my God. Oh, wow. that's wow. Okay. So they get a training and a coaching call and a hundred dollar bell. Boom. Possibly. Boom. Possibly. A coaching call from Ray. What is he going to say now? <laughs> the same shit that he would always say in all of the Ray dailies, the daily live videos that we tune into. Prospect more people, believe in yourself, be vulnerable. I went for no. The one thing that turned myself around as I went, decided to take my business seriously, and I decided to go for no, 20 no's a day, and I did personal development each day. If there was one thing that I, I could do differently, I would be meditating every day. Fuck, we've all heard it before. And some sorry son of a bitch is going to get this 10-minute call, and they're going to be like on cloud nine. <laughs> I got so much value. Make sure you tag him. He needs as much exposure as possible. He's suffering these days. Fucking clout isn't as um, <laughs> heavy as it used to be. So only one. I'm only doing this with one. So you don't you don't know who's going to get it, right? But seriously, take a picture, tag me, and I'll do a 10 minute coaching call with you as well because uh, we're going to have some fun. Uh, Boom, okay. Back to you. Okay. Well, I thought what I boom back to you. Just such a fucking asshole. I said was interesting. It but... was interesting. <laughs> I would feel sorry for her, but she's so fucking brutal too. Like. They have doled out abuse. They have hurt so many people over the years. I mean, this, <laughs> this is this is the beginning, baby. We got to spice it up. We got to be adding stuff and, and just having a lot of fun. Well, right? what should I add to it? What do you think I should add to it? I mean, you, 
you added a training. I added a training. One person's going to get a 10 minute coaching call with me and a hundred dollar bill. Let's add something That's else. Inter- what do you want to add? Um, You've already added enough. No, see, I- spend more Nilo life. If you're still here, this is what you're fucking dealing with now. This is my background. You have no fucking idea the levels of humiliation that I succumb to. This you thought baby doll with surface level oh just another multi-level marketing hater you have no fucking idea <laughs> this is giving you you're like what the hell is this this looks really crazy yes yes it does and yes it is <laughs> let's throw autograph it they want you to autograph it okay. autograph okay. nobody wants you to autograph it who you know even when i was in rank makers um and i went to it was i don't know whether it was the first because there was Top Earner Academy Live, and then it was Rank Makers. He wrote this book. It was so bad. It was called um, Vibrational Money Immersion. It was so bad that even when I was deeply brainwashed, I couldn't recommend it to people. And that says a lot when you're a cult member. (laughs) You can't say anything good about it. It's like, this is really fucking bad. (laughs) All he did was like lift sections of Napoleon Hill's book copied and pasted it vast passages of that book and then he write do this for network marketing and that's all it was the whole book was like that and then i remember um was there another book before time money freedom i never bought time money freedom but i remember um we were all lined up going to get a picture taken with ray and people had like their books and i didn't have a book i said i don't have a book i didn't bring it (laughs) I don't need you to sign my fucking book. I'm I'm proud looking back. There were some moments where I was like me, you know, peeking through the cult identity. See, I can fucking rhyme when I want to. It just comes out naturally. Okay. Both of us? Yeah. Same same one? Yeah. Are they saying? Okay. Oh, okay, let's autograph it. By the way. The- oh, my God. That's going to really up it. So somebody is going to win an autographed journal. <laughs> who knows and who cares is it nuts the one and only ray higdon is signing your journal holy shit <laughs> buckle up your business is about to blow up you thought 2023 was a big deal you ain't seen nothing yet Make sure you spend $20 on this journal and one lucky son of a gun is going to open it up and find a $100 bill and make sure you take a picture of it and then make sure you tag him and then post it. Holy fuck. And then good luck coordinating that 10 minute coaching call. And then when you do, maybe it'll be recorded live on the hot seat and you'll be shamed and humiliated on live video. All for the low, low price of $20. Then you can cash in your fin credits. Oh shit. That's something else. (laughs) I'm getting confused. There's too much anti MLM stuff. <laughs> These are not dated either. Yeah, they're not um, dated. You can start them anytime. Okay, and what about uh, let's? Well, this is for women, right? So let's the the jewelry. This is for women. <laughs> Fuck! This is so fucking weird. This is for women. Um, okay, so let's throw in a social media script book with anybody who gets the planner. So- oh my god they're still selling the social media script book okay i have to go to the back and uh i have i have this book an ex rank maker sent me all their shit because i had thrown all mine out when i woke up i had bag garbage bags filled with monate and rank maker stuff and i just took them out so i made a TikTok. i did it to acdc <laughs> i filmed myself i'm like i'm throwing this shit out i want it out of my house And I know people had said, you know, hang on to it. You might want to make content with it. But at the time I wanted it away. I wanted it gone, you know? And so I am happy that somebody sent me their stuff because looking back at it, I'm like, how did I think this was good? And you're not even going to believe what's in this um, social media script book. This is going to be a long video and I've given up even thinking about shortening it. it. This has to be done. It needs to go on the record for other rank makers. So this is the social media scripts book. We would purchase all manner of shit from rank makers. And keep in mind, again, this is on top of our multi-level marketing company nonsense. So this book is so brutal. It would give you 
like these situations type. So posting on social media and it says type one curiosity post. This is how we like we literally follow this. And we made content using this as a guide. So if you wonder why people are so stilted and fucking awkward and weird, like we're, we're using this stuff like this recognition i want to show you the handing handing <laughs> there's a spelling mistake in here look at this handing specific objections handling so price price objection this is the first one when a prospect objects the price oh my god they don't even say objects to the price it just objects the price and says it is overpriced or they can get it cheaper here are some options this is from rank makers and they are still selling this. This video was posted like two days ago or yesterday and they're still selling this. So this is what you can expect. You're like, well, this shampoo is overpriced. I can get this cheaper off Amazon. Yeah, you are right. There are a lot of other cheaper items out there that say similar things, but the truth is you'd be better off just keeping your money than buying those cheaper things as many of them are either falsely labeled or can cause more harm than good. That's option A, I told you. Rank makers are a special breed. B, this could be your other option as you're sending out hundreds, nigh thousands of cold messages all across social media. Poor unsuspecting people. Just see if they're open, give them an out. No, you know what? This is, um, this travel discount is too expensive. I can get it elsewhere. Yeah, no. Anything you ever buy from leather jackets to luggage to cars have cheaper knockoff products. But I have found buying the best is always worth the premium. You definitely strike me as someone who enjoys quality too, but let me know how you would like to proceed. That was the second option. All right. Doesn't like auto ship is one. Doesn't want to look until they know the price. All reasonable objections doesn't have the time here's this one doesn't have the time a well if you truly don't have any time you may need at least something like what i have more than i thought you've heard uh variations of this when people say if you don't i don't have the money it's like well then you need this more than you think you need to spend your money because you don't have any money <laughs> doesn't have the times so this is the other one mine may not be a fit for you but if I were you and didn't have any time, I would suggest finding a way to generate residual income that will help free up some of your time as none of us want to work our whole lives. <laughs> I can't believe this. I haven't looked at this in a while. Okay, let's see. I don't have any money. This is the one. Number eight. Look at this. I don't have any money. If you're watching this, you might want to. This is getting pushing up close to an hour, you might want to watch this in segments and just come back, maybe take a break, go see somebody else's anti-MLM content, watch another video that's like 15 minutes long, whatever, to be like, okay, I'm going to come back. I'm ready to, for more rank maker stuff. <laughs> I'm ready to hear number eight. I don't have any money. Really sorry to hear that. That is tough. Do you have a plan to fix that? If this fits your story, add this in. This means now you have to share your story. I know when I started, I was really struggling, but they taught me what to do and was able to turn that around. That's just it. That just gives you the response. That's the only one they have. There's the one in here, though, that says it's a pyramid scheme. I want to find that. It's so stupid. It's so fucking glorious. I can't even believe this. Okay, 17 in the book. Is this a pyramid? Several ways to handle this depending on your personality. A. Come on, seriously? Yeah, I am a criminal mastermind and trying to get your money, lol. If you don't want to grow a business, totally cool, but no need to turn into CSI, lol. So it says, you'd like type this out. See that? Lol. So amazing. What do you mean by pyramid? I don't understand. Well, most people in multi-level marketing don't understand. They don't accept when they're explained why the company that you're in. It's also known as multi-level marketing. <laughs> C, I am sure you have a reason for asking that, of which I have no idea. What made you ask that? Well, because your personality has changed. You're in something called an NLM commercial cult. And you're 
asking me really weird questions, wanting me to look at this opportunity and if not, no big deal. You've never spoken like this before. Or D, this one is my favorite. So this is this is an objection saying, is this a pyramid? And Ray Higdon has written this book and says to say, no, this one is more of an octagon. Way more money in an octagon as there are more sides. Okay, LOL, quit messing around. You wanna make money or not? <laughs> you can see why so many people in multi-level marketing have benefited from the Higdon Group's coaching with objection, like, you know, you can overcome objections. Things like this, it's just incredible. So then there's um, all MLM is overpriced so they can pay their reps, love to, but can't afford it. This is just not, so here it says bonus top 10 closing questions for Facebook prospecting by Jessica Higdon. So that's this gem right here that they're trying to sell. And I've got a box of other stuff just in case. I don't have the ring light though. I threw out the ring light. The fabled ring light. Show me a script back. Um, okay, so these we sell all the time. So this is this should not be on the thing. Uh, let's. This is like the last We're, thing I want to sell. <laughs> well, maybe you should have been a little bit more prepared. Wow, they're just imploding. This is so awkward. It's glorious. <laughs> yeah, but we're gonna throw one in Dang. with this. Okay, all right, with this one. Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, so these we in. sell like all the time. Like if there's one thing I wish wasn't on here, it would be that one. But we well, then maybe you should have removed it. Wow, they're really floundering, aren't they? Aren't they? We sell this all the time. You never sell this. Who the fuck is buying this thing? All these poor bastards. Look at this. You've recruited some people now. What? That's what it says on the back. There's the logo. Rank makers. <laughs> <laughs> this is so fucking dumb oh here's the um how to reach out to customers and business builders how to reach out to customers or people you're trying to recruit good formula to follow so it's like this color-coded thing hey julie enticing first sentence why you're messaging them connection point excitement and then question so then they give you um a potential customer. Hey, Julie, I absolutely love your post that you did about your weight loss <laughs> journey. I'm reaching out because I've been there myself and it's not easy, but totally worth it. Hang in there. I finally hit my goal weight after finding some things that work for me. Do you mind if I ask what you've tried in the past to lose weight? Can you fucking imagine? They've written that in here. Weight loss. Potential business builder. Hey, Julie, I almost didn't reach out to you, but decided to anyway. <laughs> I didn't want you to think this was some automated or spammy message. Ha ha. But I do love what you posted on the Tony Robbins page, and you seem super confident and motivated. Do you mind if I ask what you do for a living? So you're following a page, you know, Tony Robbins, or you know, God forbid if you're still following Tony Robbins, but whatever. We're taught to go like sleuth out around the internet and find out like who is the person that we want to recruit. And if you've left a comment on somebody else's page, then we're going to send you a private message and try to like get you in. We're going to try to recruit you that way. Wow. Lose weight. It's, oh, there's like, there's all this stuff about losing weight in here. Follow-up questions, customers. Do you mind if I ask what you've tried in the past to lose weight? <laughs> you mean fat so? Do you mind if I ask what you've tried in the past? Because clearly it's not working. You need to get on my fucking mushroom juice or my Modair collagen. It just melts fat right off your big fat belly you should be embarrassed about. Like, Jesus Christ, this is just wild to me. Okay, back on, back into this. And to make it clear, I'm like um, being sarcastic. I make, I'm like, over exaggerating what they say i'm taking it to the extreme to like the level of absurdity to just emphasize how ludicrous this behavior is how they really shame people's bodies so i just i i sometimes think i'm like do i really need to explain that i was joking but i get that sometimes people do need that explanation which sucks because then it's like the point of the joke is i'm like a bit deflated i'm like you have to explain the joke <laughs> it's like fuck it's not the thing but i wanted to make that clear because 
there's so much uh, body shaming wrapped up in MLM, you know, and that's really what they're doing. That's what they're saying. So I'm just like bringing it out. It's like, this is what you really mean. This is what you're implying. And like, fuck you for doing that. And it's like, it's written in here, like the losing weight. It's always number one about losing weight. I'm so mad through that. I might end up ripping a page out of that. We'll see. We'll see how agitated I get. We'll throw this in one with this. So this, whoever gets this one is like getting mega, mega, mega. But if you want, I mean, let's let's get crazy. Let's, let's look at do this guy. Ray's going to shit on him. He's like, why did you walk into my frame? This guy's just fucking tootling on by. It's like, nobody's going to see me. He thinks he's out of the camera. He's like, I really got to go to the bathroom. We all see you. You're going to get in trouble. You're going to have a live video made about you in the group saying, when I was trying to be professional, somebody would just like to interfere, worry about themselves and just walk into the frame. <laughs> whatever anything else this one we sell all the time well hey okay um let's get crazy then let's okay. throw let's throw in i want to make so this is all for people that just get the one item is that what you're saying this is crazy yeah yeah absolutely it's, it's, okay. it's, people, it's like losing their mind this is incredible look at this guy just walking back and forth he's just fucking lost he's like i gotta get he's like sending help <laughs> He's going to walk back and forth. He's like, please send help. It's like blink once if you need help. He's like, I'm going to walk back and forth. He's like tapping Morse code dot, 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 dash, 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 dot, dot, dot. Or if it's dash, dash, dash and dot, dot, dot. He's just pacing. He's losing his mind. This poor chap. So this, this so this is, so this it. one right here, you're going to keep walking out, walk away. You're going to get the hundred. We're in Crocs, though. It's always a good footwear choice. I'm telling you. You think I'm joking, but Crocs are where it's at. Hundred dollar bill, ten minute coaching call. Anyone that gets one in the script book, anyone that gets one, period, is getting that, that coaching with you. On top of that, and of course, <laughs> you're getting. Uh, Ooh, we'll throw in, off. yeah, we'll throw in some fun pens here. So let me hand. I'm gonna hand this off to Jeff so that he has this. We'll throw in some fun pens. Go. I believe at one point we sold um, these for what, eight bucks or something? Like 9.99. Like 9.99. So we'll throw in some pens with anybody who gets the progress planner. Um, wow, and are so I mean, now These people were saying they're like multimillionaires and I sell this house for like $10 million and I'm this, and they're in a warehouse wearing glittery sequin blazers saying this is crazy we sell this book all the time all the time i bet all the thousands of people clamoring to get this updated version about how to address is this a pyramid scheme oh no it's an octagon lol <laughs> come on are you serious you think i'm a criminal mastermind lol <laughs> i can't imagine why people would never ever stop buying this riveting <laughs> tool. Holy shit. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be a long video. Do you guys like do you, you guys you guys like us adding stuff? I'm not seeing hardly any comments. It's because nobody's watching because they've all fled. They've all woken up from multi-level marketing because of this group. I don't see any comments. That's because there's like two people watching and they're like the diehard fans that are still somehow connected to me. There's been a couple of people that are still friends with me. Some of them I've just, I had to remove them as friends because I'm like, I can't stand seeing you try to recruit people. You're lying to them. You know what's going on, but I don't see anybody. Back in the heyday, oh fuck, I was one of those people that would like be, I would be smashing the heart button. I thought I would think something like this was so exciting. <laughs> They'd have all these people on their Facebook lives and we'd be like, oh, this is so awesome. Like, holy fuck. Now it's just crickets. <laughs> Fuck. Just like, oh, what else? You I I hope if you're watching this, like, is this making any sense? Like, and and in the way that, like, do you see how fucked up it is? <laughs> like, you see this, right? And 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 by seeing it, I mean not like, oh my god, how could anybody get sucked into this? I know that that's going to be a a piece but so many people are where this is considered really amazing content 
that although this isn't coaching per se, this is like, we're going to see these two people together. They're going to be like joking around. We're going to get a good deal. We're going to be watching this live. Like, you know, with the other anti MLM content, like different cult documentaries, can you see how, like, I don't know. Can you see? And then you can help make me see. Cause I don't know how the fuck I saw anything in this. <laughs> oh my god, I should have brought I should have bought some popcorn. You got, like, come on, man, tag somebody. Tag a leader that needs to get tools for their team that wants to get gifts. Should tag Eric Allen. Eric, fucking Ray has some tips for you. Maybe you should get a sequin blazer blazer too. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you thought you were big wig in World Ventures? Holy fuck, this is where you're going next. You're going to have a sequin blazer. You're going to be a prophet. Maybe you'll change religions into Christianity if you aren't already yet. And then uh, you can be having a warehouse too. <laughs> Selling all of this shit. This is the path. Some of you are on it. Some of you leaders are going to be doing the same thing. You're going to be thinking that you're chosen by God. You're going to start your coaching group. This pattern has been set, but more and more of us are speaking out. So hearken unto ye, doth that. <laughs> that wants to get prizes, that wants to have fun. Tag some people. All right, I see one yes. Well, that's good. We're, we're working on it. Probably somebody that's an anti-MLM. <laughs> I've seen that on some of these videos. People I know, I'm like, holy shit, you're the only person responding. <laughs> Tag some people. Please. Tag anybody. Tag someone. Share this. We've got all this inventory. We got to move it. <laughs> Nobody's buying it. Doesn't matter how many hundred dollar bills you tape in that. You better take that hundred dollar bill back. You're going to have to pay your electrical bill. <laughs> We're working on it. Okay. Okay. So, and anybody who gets a progress planner will also get. How about one of these? One of these? Yeah. Okay. So okay. They're cool rank makers. I don't know how many grateful. we have of these. <laughs> well, no, we're going to. Do we have enough of these? Are yeah, we, okay? we have lots of these. Okay. We have so lots. anyone that's so getting a progress planner is also going to get one. What is this? It's I don't a, even know what it is. It's a grateful. It's a, it's a nice cup that says grateful on it. Yeah, maybe it's show like them. A maybe, maybe it's show It's like a close. rose gold. Yeah, but I have lots of other jewelry I want to show, but I'll show you. The rose gold. I bought, I, I'm, I'm having a rose gold flashback right now. I bought the rose gold vegan leather backpack. <laughs> Drop a one if you bought the rose gold let vegan leather backpack. For this one, one, it's really pretty. Oh, every planner, every planner is and that's get bought, one of these. Uh, and so, if you now through Monday, now if you bought beautiful? last week, many of you bought last week. It. These are new specials today. Brenda's like, I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. It's so beautiful. I love it. This is so fucking weird. So you're you're getting out of this. That's wild. That's yeah. absolutely wild. Well, and you know what I love about this bracelet is it's a nice reminder. A great yeah. heart is a magnet for miracles. Well, and if you are a gentleman who got the progress planner, guess what makes a great gift? Absolutely. You surprise surprise your lady. Look at that. Surprise How cool mom, is that? Surprise How nice is that? Your sister, your daughter. Very nice. Very nice. All the right. Kids. I sold better shit when I owned a dollar store. Kids. Let's not forget about the kids. Okay. What else we got? What else are we going to talk about next, babe? Okay. Um. What about this? Doesn't she look pretty today? Look at her. She's so gorgeous. Oh, thanks, babe. You look very snazzy today. Yeah, that, this is my game show host uh, jacket. I feel like I got to walk around so people can see what okay. I'm showing. This right, is show the, okay, so this is our, speaking of. Oh, my God. This is so fucking awkward. This is so weird. I'm grateful. This is our gratitude journal. And this is an extremely powerful exercise for you to do each and every morning. I highly suggest in the morning and at night. And what's beautiful about this There's particular- Wealth Wednesday. Um, it says Wealth Wednesday on the left-hand side there. See that? Wealth Wednesday cards. That was the ritual. Every day of the week, as a we have to do something. Oh my goodness. Journal, which we designed ourselves, okay? This is- Wow, we can tell. Uh, mad skills. There's the fucking world ventures. See, there's always all these fuckers are connected and we're starting to see, you know, as the years go by, more people come forward. Another piece of the puzzle snaps into place. 
Like, oh, that's pretty interesting. You can't find anything like this anywhere. This is a Higdon Group exclusive. And what's the what's the deal on this one? So that we have sold for years for thirty dollars. You can get it today for ten dollars. Yeah, <laughs> they're just trying to get any money they can. Oh my God! Maybe they'll tape a picture of their firstborn in the next one. Oh my God! We've, we've literally sold this for years for thirty bucks, so it's over fifty percent off. You're like seventy percent off here, ten bucks for this, and they make fantastic gifts. Um, but this is a they were trying to sell this during that uh, one of the reality show episodes, weren't they, on the streets of Florida? A really great exercise, not only for you to do with. Um, for yourself, but also with your family, with your kids, with your spouse. And we have our kids. Yeah, with your family, your kids and your spouse. Yeah. <laughs> okay, everyone. They're like, honey, are you um off watching that training from that fucking dingleberry? No, no, I learned all about um how I'm addicted to feeling sorry for myself. And now we have to all sit down as a family together and write what we're happy and grateful for. <laughs> Shit that never happens. <laughs> it's right each and every day. They can say it, it. They can write it, what they're grateful for. And it puts them in a, in a better mood for the day and really gets them in that habit. Now, within... Puts them in a better mood for the day. <laughs> in this little pocket, you have these Wealth Wednesday cards that you get with each gratitude journal. And these Wealth Wednesday cards, something we started uh, years ago... Drop, and, drop a one if you know what Wealth Wednesday is. Have you heard us talk about that? Drop a one if you know. Well, if you haven't, most of them, most people have heard about it from me. <laughs> drop a two if you've heard about Wealth Wednesday from Baby Doll. <laughs> There's people that have never even, that never even knew Rank Makers existed and they know about Wealth Wednesday. <laughs> drop a deuce. <laughs> what Wealth Wednesday is. Yeah, so Wealth Wednesday is each and every Wednesday you do an act of kindness or a financial exchange um, out of kindness for a stranger. And so we have these Wealth Wednesday cards that... This was to improve your money mindset. And if you don't have anything to give, that's all the more reason to give. So you have thousands of people that are in this cult that go out around the world and they would give money. I used to buy Tim Hortons gift cards and give it to people. It, I, I did really like it. I thought that was so much fun, you know, but I didn't, I didn't have these cards that I didn't purchase from rank makers to advertise that I'm giving, you know, I just gave because it, it did feel really good to give, but the purpose was to improve my money mindset because now I'm acting out of abundance. Like money is just like, just flowing out of the universe right into my wallet. So I just got to spend it. And then that's what they do. And then make sure you can like tag them in it. You can talk about it in the group rank makers. If you want, you don't have to. I'm not forcing you to. This is just nuts. So this is just like when you can tell something is a huge, massive scam when they're like trying to uh, cause play as rich people that have all this time and money freedom. And yet they're forced to wear glittery sequin blazers and shill shit in a overstocked warehouse in a desperate attempt to make some money as the grift continues to deteriorate at on the inside they have different sayings but it says a grateful heart is a magnet for miracles you can write a little note and what people love to do with these it's a rem reminder every week to give someone a nice reminder that to be grateful give someone a tip inside of these and fold it buy it and it advertises rank makers you're spending money you're giving money to them and you're giving money to us and it's branded isn't this fucking wild up an extra tip maybe for your waitress the next i hope they sell this one too. oh this is so good it's just really nice it's it feels good in your hand we've literally sold hundreds of these this used to be 30 dollars. it's 10 dollars. it's like 50 to 70 percent off this is this is so good what are we gonna do <laughs> This video is just going so slow. It's ten bucks. I mean, ten bucks. That is, that is quite what cool. an incredible deal. I mean, you just this is an absolute no brainer. It's almost as much of a no brainer as signing up for Nilo Life. <laughs>
<laughs> it's, but we can't yet. We got to wait until it gets into pre-launch. <laughs> Have to pass that hurdle first. <laughs> the deal at $10, well, babe. I know, but can't we throw something in for them? What, what are you wanting to throw in? It's 10 Oh, can't we? Can't we? Babe, it's already a good deal. Can't we throw something else in there just to, you know, make it such a great deal? I don't know. What are we going to throw in there? We've already given them such incredible value just by being on air. Well, I've got something that's like pink and glittery. It has a lot of feminine energy. Maybe we could add that. All right. <laughs> is this like a skit? What the fuck is this? Dollars. There's some extra Wells Wednesday cards. Okay. Yeah. So anybody, okay, perfect. So anybody who gets a, uh, a gratitude journal, we'll give you some extra okay. Wealth Wednesday cards. Okay. Oh, oh, look at that. Now this was right in front of me. This, What's that? This is it's a, a mug. Uh, I love. This is the, oh no, I clicked again. Oh my God. There's the vegan leather backpack. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, I, I I know I clicked around. There's the cup. All right, it's the cup. A bit more. And um that's uh yeah. This is so fun. <laughs> Both I love of these it. for ten dollars is just insane. I mean I it's just it. crazy. It's desperate. <laughs> it is funny. It is insane too. You're fucking insane. <laughs> You've lost your fucking mind. So and fun. and maybe you want one or the other, you know, have one as a gift or have two different gifts or, or whatever. That's that's wild. Oh, okay. I love this. I'm giving keep, away I'm the farm. Giving away the farm. I'm giving keep. away the farm. Our manager's away. We're going crazy. Everything is for sale. We've got the pots. We got the pants. We got the capybaras. We got the tangerines on their heads. Everything is at a low, low discount. Before our boss comes back, we're going to clear out this warehouse. What are you going to offer? Not the mug and the book. This is just crazy. You can give it to this person and this person for only $10. These people have made millions of dollars. Millions and millions and millions of dollars. And people have looked up to them, hung on their every word. These people, these two people. <laughs> that one for the house nobody signs up thinking that they're going to be fucking looking up to two people like that no 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 it doesn't happen like that but this is where it ends up <laughs> if you're thinking of joining multi-level marketing somehow you've sat through all this length of my video and you're like well what's the really the big deal this could be you you could be looking at a video like this wasting at like an hour of your time this is your investing time with me this is like personal growth this is going to like help you invest in your future to avoid scams You'd be watching their video live thinking that this is riveting and like so incredible. You'd be like sending, buying all this shit, thinking it's such a good deal, hoping that you'd get a hundred dollar bill taped in. Like how, just how patronizing is that? You know, it's so gross. Like tape your fucking money, your bill into something. Like it's such an honor. Fuck. And then I'm going to sign it too. Like fucking sign this. <laughs> so fucking stupid oh my god <laughs> oh well this we're supposed to be selling these things <laughs> i know oh okay so these i'll just start with like the ladies stuff okay because um, it's fun and i think the women you want to see some fun feminine where's, where's beautiful... the ladies at i don't where, know the mix the what's the mix at? here is it uh... it's usually a higher mix of women an inordinately high mix of women all with the feminine energy Oh, I can't wait to start with the fucking women. Where's where's the ladies at? Are you on here? Christ, back up there, bud. He's like, please let there be some women on here. And there's just like the the two dudes that are just like, bro, this is amazing. Like, please, who's this one? Oh, this person leaves comments on my YouTube all the time saying, I pray for you, Ray. Oh, thank God, she'll buy a fucking journal for sure. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um okay so there's like nobody on there i don't think there's anybody on if there was somebody on there there must be somebody on they were saying all those names at the beginning 
I'm going to just put together some fun lady stuff. Can I do this? Yeah. Or you don't know what I'm about to do. I don't know what you're about to do. Yeah. <laughs> you know, notice I'm trained. She's trained me well. I'm like, yes, yeah, sure, babe. I don't know what okay, you're doing. Okay, so I'm actually wearing, I'm going to come around. I'm actually wearing this, um, this prayer bracelet. Okay. And it's a prayer bracelet. Seven oh strands for each day of the week. Oh, and it's a great reminder for your Do you prayer. Need this or you got one? It's a great reminder for your prayer. You need to pay the Higdon group money for a fucking bracelet to remind you to pray. I don't think so. I don't think that's how Christianity works there. The fuck is this nonsense now? Why would you even say that to sell? That's just so gross. Mind you, their whole detour into this faith manipulation is alarming i have one on oh i'm going to show you okay. so it's absolutely beautiful i wear mine every day it says faith on it on the little um tag and then there's a little it's definitely not paparazzi it's a much higher quality than paparazzi it doesn't change your skin green it's great it's more than five bucks for today special deal just for you it'll be five bucks <laughs> you can get a ring light a t-shirt social media script book we're going crazy today. I wear it every single day. It reminds me to pray. Otherwise, I would be like, oh, shit, what do I have to pretend to do? Oh, yeah, I have to pretend that um, I'm Christian. <laughs> That's what I got to do. Um, let's make a prayer bracelet. This will be really good to sell to people. How can we gouge more people out of money? Cross that dangles down and it sparkles and it's one of my, they, we come in, they come in black. So if you're a black person, you wear a lot of black, they come in gold, they come in rose gold. So you can Black get... as in someone who wears a lot of black. Yes. Yeah. He caught that. Can be a bit of a doofus, but he knows when to be like, shit, you just said that. <laughs> you're... If you're a black person, you might want to wear black. She's like, huh? What's that? What do you mean, black person? Like, I mean, like, clearly, if you're wearing black. <laughs> He's like, holy fuck, I'm going to have to be running damage control now. <laughs> that sounded very strange. <laughs> well, Tyla wears a lot of black. She right, knows what I'm right. talking about. Yeah. <laughs> no match. <laughs> yeah, it just sounded strange. Well. Right? <laughs> okay, but you know what? We've got multiple colors. Okay, we've got multiple yeah. colors, and it's absolutely beautiful. And uh, I'm just gonna like I just saw all these things, and I'm like, this is so pretty. I'm gonna put together a, a women's. Look at this. Just look at her. This is so fucking weird. It. This is what I just don't even know. So they were in some multi. You know, you're at the top of a multi-level marketing company. That's what you say. You end up becoming a multi-level marketing coach, and she's living her best life, like inventing shit. These backpacks, pink, rose gold shit, and just sells it on like as if it's um the shopping channel. Okay, everyone, this is so incredible. This one, it's so nice. It has the silver reflected back at you. It is such a good tool. It re will remind you to pray, which is really important, you know, for your faith and to explode your network marketing business. And oh, we're gonna have so much fun. I just created this glittery pen. This is like really good for feminine energy. It's, you know, for the, for the women, the women here, let's start with the women. Oh my God. Bundle. So I might end up just deleting this video too. If this makes it and you've made it this far, you're going to know why. This is going to be a long video or I'm just going to be like, pull the pin. <laughs> this, these backpacks, which house they can house your journals your progress planner your laptop they have a um a pocket here that you can slip over a suitcase i even when the kids were little i used this as a diaper bag they're beautiful they say faith on them and side note um there's a there's a large retailer out there they say faith on them they didn't when i was in there there's a large retailer out there they used to say it was like macy's and this is the exact same um company or whatever that makes theirs but ours is like you know 200 dollars cheaper than theirs the, oh my, it's the same spiel that will not be mentioned um but they so you're going to imply because it doesn't exist because you're probably lying there's a big major distributor that does this, which isn't going to be mentioned because that makes it like, wow, who does it? Because it doesn't exist. Because if you could say it, you would say it. Oh, if they could name drop, they would. But when they can't, they just hide the lie by saying shit like this.
This is just for selling these products, their, their merch. That's all this video is about, is just them flogging the merch. This isn't even going into them talking about, okay, trigger warning. This isn't them about talking about Nazi concentration camps and um, suicide and losing your children, um, losing anyone, death, um, none, none of that. No, no, um, drug addiction, um, mental health, narcissism, which they can, you know, encourage you to give tips against um, interacting with narcissists, uh, anything anything like that this is just about these products but this is like an overlay i don't know how to even explain it i don't even know how to explain it you have a very similar bag like this can i say that yeah. okay so nordstrom gets this pretty much the same can i say that Who's in the background giving them all these directions? Can I say that? Nordstrom gets it. Nordstrom gets it from the same place that we do, but ours are so much cheaper and better. Exact bag, same material, same everything. May even be the same manufacturer. Who knows? But I don't think so. It's so funny that they're worried about like saying Nordstrom, but they have no problem making all these other fucking claims. Lying to people. But they're worried about saying, is this from Nordstrom? Can't even make this shit up. So, oh, it is. Yeah, same manufacturer. And they sell it for over $200. Wow, Nordstrom, I hope you're watching this. Did you know that there's this um, cult called Rank Makers? And they're bragging that their backpack is made from the same manufacturer as yours. But they can, they need to, you know, diminish your bag. <laughs> and they're saying, our bag is so much better. They're charging way more than we are. Maybe you should get a different manufacturer, Nordstrom. Or maybe you should just send these guys an email and say, maybe you should stop using our name in your marketing. Each. We sell, we have sold these on sale for $80, but today they are 40? Yep. 40 bucks. 40 bucks. I just love the little tassel on the side. They're gorgeous. Mm -hmm. um, and the faith. And the faith. Yep. I showed the faith logo. Maybe make sure it's the faith. Maybe I'm going to come up really close to the camera and show you the crucifix around my neck. Go and yeah, the color. It says faith too. It says faith. Make sure and then mention faith over fear live. Pray God, any kind of term that's religious, just like make sure you get it in there. Faith. Yep. I showed that. So oh. the sun zips on the bottom so you can place it over your suitcase or when you're not traveling, you can put stuff back here. Lots of pockets The inside laptop pocket beautiful gold zipper i shouldn't have done this video <laughs> i'm having regrets i should never have started this video what was i thinking it's an hour long i knew this was going to go on too long fuck and we have one in navy as well that i'll show you um i have them in every color obviously because it's our product and i love it but i used it as a diaper bag for a long time as well um so we have not too many of these left and i'm not sure exactly how many but to make it fun we have some things that match and i looked at this i'm like oh my gosh this is so beautiful oh let your light shine and faith over fear which is our branded event after we had so many people leave and expose us as the cult and fraud that we are we're like selling pink vegan leather shit now faith over fear live .com. come to florida Lots of great speakers, like that guy that says, pant for me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How are you guys? Everybody good? All right. I'm backstage, getting a little nervous back there. I'm walking around, and um, yeah, I learned some breathing techniques. You guys learned those breathing techniques? before lunch? So I'm back there, kind of like... And then I'm like, wait, I'm supposed to tap. And then, <laughs> so it would make me feel real good if all of you will pant for me. Just pant. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I've got so much shit that I can show you. But you know what? I'm going to like try to keep it focused and just like back to the merch. Back to the merch because I've done enough of other videos of the weirdness of rank makers. Let's look at the merch. Let's put together 
a bundle for all the ladies. So how about the first 20? The first, the first 20 that go in. The first 20? Yeah. Okay. They're putting limitations I'm on me. Sorry. We're gonna run out. So the first 20. They're handcuffing you. <laughs> okay, we don't have a lot of the bracelets. Okay, so the first 20 that get a bag are going to get the bracelet and the prayer bracelet and the faith over fear makeup bag on the back it has matthew 5 16 let your light shine beautiful wow way to go matching just i'm so i'm obsessed one of my favorite verses is it really and because on the back it says faith over fear so then it's going to be selling for your event your large group awareness training it's one of my favorite verses. I just learned it fucking like a year ago. And now I get direction from God every day. Yes. You know, you know the city on the hill that cannot be hidden. Oh, fuck. Here we go. We're going to like spit out some fucking scripture right now. Let your light shine. And so I do want to give a shout out. So uh, shout out to Donna Scott. So Donna, uh, you're actually getting two entries to our Faith Over Fear ticket giveaway that I haven't even talked about yet. Any order over 25 bucks today or last weekend, okay? Any order over 25 bucks last weekend, any order over 25 bucks, you're being entered to win two tickets to Faith Anybody that has ever even looked at the website and like inhaled is going to be entered in and just like to get two tickets and just because we need to get people in this thing. People are starting to wake up. The anti-MLM movement is spreading. People are like, what have I been a part of? I don't want anything to do with this. They're starting to exit. But you know what? If you just open our website, you're entered for this ticket that you can win. Congratulations, Donna. Donna, I hope you get out. Isn't this, it's like one of those um, where they would raise money during certain things like a like a telephone or something. It was like, okay, now everyone, we're going to have this uh, person play a guitar and all this. And like, I just like to thank everyone. We got to give a big shout out. We just got a donation from, you know, Joe Blow, who just donated $10,000 and says, thank you so much. Like, and they're just trying to sell shit. So they've gone on for an hour doing this. Why am I reacting to this? I don't know. <laughs> it was because of the sequence. It was the sequence. That's what caught me. I'm like a fucking crow. <laughs> I look, I'm like, I got to see the sequence. Faith Over Fear Live, which is amazing. And every $25 spent this weekend, you are you get one entry to those two tickets. So you do have a better chance buying this weekend than last weekend, but we didn't want to not enter you into the raffle. And so, uh, Donna, you got two entries. Uh, Michelle Lamont, you get Ooh, one Donna. entry. Jean, Yay, you get one entry. Sharon, you get one entry. Nice. Bonnie, you get one entry. Brenda, you get one entry. Congratulations. Um, should we throw you get an entry congratulations you get an entry <laughs> i wonder if they'll all win like mary Kay. surprise you actually win a pampered party it's like everybody wins <laughs> they're gonna and if you don't then they've got your name and they're gonna you are gonna be like uh sent emails out relentlessly i don't even know how many rank makers have unsubscribed from the higdon group have sent stop to their text messages and they still won't stop. They still keep sending messages. They still keep sending emails after you even hit unsubscribe. They still, they'll just, they just keep coming. You can't fucking get away. It takes so long. It's horrible. It was even after I had spoke, I was speaking out. It was, I don't know if it had been a year or what since I had been speaking out. One day I got a fucking text. <laughs> what the fuck is this? After all of this? How the hell is my number still on here? <laughs> and I'd unsubscribed, I'd blocked, I'd done everything. And still yet another, it was like, surprise. It's just like, you know, um, automatic, like it's automated, you know, automated. Can't say that word. <laughs> Julie, do you want to register for the new event with something like that? Oh my God. It's still going on. And that you're not supposed to do. You're supposed to be able to, like when you say to a company, no, they're supposed to stop sending you e emails, not the Higdon group. Good luck removing your name and information from them. It takes a long fucking time. Throw them in something? No, never mind. Bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> so 
throwing a lot of things in. What's I, happening? He's never going to invite me back to the warehouse. Oh, no, I'm no. like, look at all this. You're doing a great job, did. babe. Isn't I she did. doing a great job? She's amazing. She's amazing. And so help us share this out. You may have teammates that want to buy some of this stuff. And to, you know, to us, one, one word that God has really, really helped me with over this last 15 months is stewardship. And stewardship is a combination of governance and multiplication. And so, oh my fucking God, here we go. We got some new material. Governance and stewardship and multiplication. Let's see the word salad that is going to ensue. Well, here we have all these tools and books and journals and, and, and things that will help you with your productivity. Um, but we're not getting them in your hands. And so this is literally last weekend was the very first time we've ever even done anything from the warehouse. The rhinestone cowboy. <laughs> hey, what's up? What's happening? Oh, fuck. I can't. Oh, my God. House ...or had this large of a sale. And so we just want to be good stewards. Get this stuff into your hands so that you can multiply, so that you can attract others to you. And you're going to walk around. You want to get this in your hands so you can multiply. But not on that pesky waistline. <laughs> multiply your team multiply your money multiply your abundance just multiply in governance and stewardship we've got all these products here this is gonna we need to get it in your hands these are tools for you to grow your network marketing business this completely makes sense my sequin era what the fuck has driven them to a point to wear this blazer this is when I think there's like an insider where they're like, you should definitely wear that blazer. That looks amazing on you. They're just in it for the long haul. They're like, I'm going to topple this fucker. This guy's business is going to go. He's going to be exposed. <laughs> People are not going to be following him, giving him their money. It's like, definitely wear that blazer with that white V-neck. Yes. And that cross. Yeah, that's good. Do not tuck in your shirt. Don't do it. Don't do it. Just wear this. This is, this is slick. <laughs> with, with some of this stuff. Guess what? People are going to ask you, where'd you get that? That's a conversation starter. And so now you can, you know, talk to them about what it is that you do. This is actually some of these bags just walking around. Or Target. He's like, those are some nice shoes you got on there. And they look at, and you're just standing there and you're, you're wearing like fucking Hoka running shoes. And you look at them and you're like, that's a nice jacket. Where'd you get that jacket? And he said, would you be interested in learning more about my network marketing business? He'd be like, yes, I would. But I've heard, is this a pyramid? And he says, well, oh, just hang on a second. 12, 13, damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, this is going to be depending on my personality. Oh, I think I'm going to use this one. This is it. No, this one is more of an octagon. Way more money in an octagon as there are more sides. Okay, LOL, quit messing around. Do you want to make money or not? Going to be making you money because they're going to be generating leads and attracting people to you and so what what do we got now babe what do we got um now well, we didn't we didn't even offer this last week because i didn't know we had them okay uh, we offered sense. the navy blue i think it was called black. The black. Oh, we had black so last week we offered the black which did we sell out this guy is like randomly walking around in the back this is such a disaster um or it was close we're, we're almost out. I think we so the black we're back. almost out of the black um, but I didn't even know we had the other color. And so, so now we, now we got this. So look at the inside. I mean, so cool. And the, it has that pop of color. These on the tag, of course, nothing we make doesn't it, all of it has some type of symbolism to inspire you to be, be better. This was such a mistake for me to do this video. I'm going to have to post it. It's going to be fucking long. I want this to be over with. Why did I decide to do this? It's always a bad idea. To inspire others to do better, be better. So everything that we make has some little 
hidden thing of inspiration, which is pretty neat. So on the tag, it says, be, do, give, live more. Be more, do more, give more, live more, ultimately so that you can live. Fin more! <laughs> All roads lead back to Finn more, do more, give more, be more, live more, Finn more, Finn more. You should buy this bag and just stamp Finn on it. And then you've got it. Put this in your store on April 10th. When you open, you'll sell out of these guaranteed. This is going to explode everybody's multi-level marketing businesses. Peter, John McKillop. What's the other guy? Steven, your melon's husband. Get on this. I'm telling you, you guys probably know each other. Fuck, get this bag. It's black. It's great. Put Finmore on it, I'm telling you. You could sell this for a lot of money. Get people to cash in like as many Fin credits as, as they can and then get them to like spend $50 shipping and handling. You guys are gonna make fucking bank. More. And so um, that's been a motto here at the Higdon Group because the more that we give, the more that we live, the more we feel alive. So we have that on the- The more that we give, the more that we live, the more that we feel alive. I've never heard that, so this must be new. The more that we, the more that you give us money, the more that we live and we're, we feel alive. It's great. <laughs> this now, I know the only people watching this are ex rank makers. I, I kind of know that there, there might be some like people that have, they've been on the journey. They know everybody else. I know you're gone by now. So this is for us now. This, I know this is, this is going, we're in for the long haul. This is going to be a multi-stage video tag of this bag and not only that but they're absolutely beautiful little weekender bag and same thing here there's why do you keep commenting julie why do you keep doing this what is the point of all this because you need to see this this is like one part of the day like just one video to show how much of our time this takes up you know several major retailers who literally from similar if not these same manufacturers make this bag this exact bag and uh, and we're offering this yeah. usually. Go ahead. What is it? What are we offering oh. this at? Oh. 20 bucks. 20 bucks. 20, 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Yeah. That's 20 so bucks. crazy. That's so nuts. $20. You can't, even, you can't even get a boring Nike bag for 20 bucks. Throwing fucking Higdon throwing Nike under the bus. You got Nordstrom. So we got the Higdons talking shit about Nordstrom and Nike. Keep it up. Keep it up. Someone's going to get pissed off. <laughs> and, and I'm going to throw in oh, like an Under Armour bag, too. Fuck. <laughs> Higdon swag is so much better than Nike. Like, look at this thing. That's that's nuts. I'm obsessed with nuts. this bag. I have every bag of every color. Every time I... Of course, they're all lined up in my walk-in closet. I look at them every day, and I'm so happy and grateful. I, and then I look down at my wrist and I see that my prayer bracelet is like, oh, I have to remember to pray. I think I might do a live video later on, tell people how to time block and to claim their life back. Fuck, I was in this group for years. I, I wear it. People are always like, oh my gosh, I love your bag. I'm like, you do? We actually make these and look at the little hidden messaging in oh. every place we can. Um, I'm going to throw in some VIP. If you like look inside, there's a piece of paper that says you're in a cult. <laughs> That's the other hidden messaging. It's like the people that is like uh, telling Ray to wear that sequin jacket. They're like stuffing this in and every like third bag. They're just putting it in there. They're like, I don't know where that fucking thing came from. That person's like lying. I never did it. <laughs> we got a mole on the inside. I'm sure of it. <laughs> my books in here. Okay. Wow. So BMI books. Yeah. How many will fit? <laughs> <laughs> How many will fit? No, okay. <laughs> okay. What is happening? For the well, maybe you're losing so much money, you need to just cram as much shit as possible in there. Maybe you might pad your books out for all I know with all the sketchy shit you two have going on. You just need to get rid of that stuff in that warehouse. How much crap can we cram in this bag for 20 bucks? <laughs> okay, for the first 25. The first 25 people will add a vibrational money immersion book. <laughs> That's that book I was telling you about. Oh. Can you tell them about that book? 
So, oh, yes. Tell because us about I was the book. just about to do something fun. Oh, um, okay. So sure. first of all, just a reminder. Twenty dollars, guys. I mean, anyone. anyone these are great gets, gifts too. I mean, they are stunning bags. He's, oh, dude, he's pissed off. He's like, you don't interrupt me. You do not interrupt me. <laughs> Ooh, these are twenty dollars. You can't even find these anywhere. I oh, hang on. I was going to do something fun. <laughs> stunning bags. Fight. 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 <laughs> Anyone that gets a, a progress planner, okay, uh, you know that oh, we no. went ahead and one of you is going to get a hundo. I taped it to the end. A hundo. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, my God. This is so fucking bad. Inside. And whoever gets this particular one, you take a picture of it, you tag me. Don't be, don't be. Please, please, please tag me. I need as much help as I can right now. Taping your own hundo, hundo in there, okay? Like, you know, I'm watching you. I know I'm only, I'm doing one, all right? And so, so one of you is going to get a hundred bucks, right? And uh, and we're going to autograph it, which Jess still needs to autograph it. Uh, you're going to get a training with Jess. You're getting a, a one of our script books. Only one person is getting this package, but I want to do something. Don't worry. We all know that the person probably isn't going to get it either. God forbid, like God help you. Whoever gets this hundred dollars, you're going to be indebted to this guy for the rest of your life too. He will never let you forget that he gave you a hundred dollar bill. Oh my goodness. Been fun with the uh, BMI. And so, uh, any is he saying TMI or B? Oh, it's the vibrational money emerge immersion immersion. The book one, and you can't you can't even give this thing away. It's so bad. This is my not only is this my first ever book. Okay, it's actually you may not know this. this. Only, only my this is his shark penis suit. It's like silver. It's fucking fabulous. Look at this. Look at this fucking thing. My OGs know this, but this is not just my first book ever. This is um, uh, my first course. So this was actually an audio course before it was ever a book. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 20 bucks. And one of you, these, this book right now is $2, okay? <laughs> it's $2. Two dollars. It's still too much. Oh my god! I'm gonna take twenty dollars in here. I'm gonna tape everything. I take my library card in there. I'm gonna tape any. What do you want? I'll tape it in there, and I'll sign it, and then I'll give you a ten minute coaching call too. And then if you tag me, and then you share it with three of your friends, and then oh my god! <laughs> anybody that has anybody that has that bought that book vibrational money immersion and has since left what do you remember about it do you still have it did you throw it away what nuggets did you learn was it the first that you put in the campfire <laughs> what a useless piece of shit and i'm going to slip a 20 in one of these so one of you is going to get a 20 dollar bill in their vmi book how much fun is that how cool is that and so i realized nobody does it i bet you they just he just goes in there and he takes the money out afterwards he like definitely like peels it off and he's like you just say i don't know somebody else does it or they'll get somebody one of their friends to post that they did it and then they'll give them the hundred dollars back well like just say that you did it and then just give it back to me <laughs> there's no fucking way they're going to be given this money i i just don't believe it knowing how cheap they are oh Guys, I have not put on the screen, which is so silly, hillbilly. Um, the link, the link is <laughs> to ninety percent. Uh, Higdon Group. Ninety percent off. I know, I know. I'm gonna wear my sequin blazer. That this is gonna be great. And then the mole is like, yes, definitely. I'm so glad you thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> com forward slash shop higdengroup.com forward slash shop up to 90 percent off uh so many different things uh we probably aren't going to be able to go over uh all the different things that we're selling here today um but uh we're going to go through a few of them 
and we're trying to give you the very best deal. And this was such a mistake for me to do this video. It's I'm like, this is going on two hours already. This is going to be a four hour video and this is going to be the worst video. <laughs> this is going to be a terrible video and I'm going to post it. Fuck. And, um, and I, what have I become? <laughs> shared with you last week I, I shared a little bit different you know story I shared that you know we were I a couple things one I realized how much inventory we have that we're <laughs> I bet you did holy shit my bank account is dipping I gotta what are we gonna do with all this inventory not even getting in your hands that we haven't been telling you about and number two uh, they told us how much the warehouse rent is increasing and we're like you know what maybe it's time to like move some stuff around and so not that that's your problem but it's actually your gain because that is one of the reasons we're actually helping it for you this where our prices are going up we got to unload some merchandise so we have some crazy deals just for you but the bill collectors knocking on the door we gotta pay suddenly this wasn't such a good idea after all <laughs> we're trying to whip some of this stuff out there and get it in your hands um yes we'll still be ordering stuff yes we'll still be creating new stuff but why not get this stuff in your hand that snapping thing i need to comment on this i've i've decided to just give up this is going to be a long video um i used to copy that too because he would do that in a lot of his live videos it'd be like this is what you, i don't know there was something about it like this we, we would all copy what he would do and it's like the same the same fucking little strategies, the same shtick, you know? And so you bet you have your best 2024 ever, your best year ever. Get these things in your hands. And uh, what do you got now, babe? What are you, okay, what are you doing now? Well, I'm gonna do Did you decide what you're giving away on the, in the duffel bag thing? The, your VMI books. Okay. Um, now, we're not going to put the $20 bill in as a freebie. So those who add it to your card, if you're adding at least one, one of you is going to get the, the 20 bucks. But we can throw some some VMI books in there. Sure. Okay. Well, it's too late. It's I, already, $20 I already asked. I already promised it. It's too late. I, I want to... Like, what just happened there? <laughs> if you order any of this stuff, good luck even getting it. And you're going to be gaslit when you don't receive it. It'll be your fault. And you'll be so happy and grateful that customer service was so kind to tell you that it was your fault. I wonder if Jared still works for the Higdon Group. <laughs> so gaslighting everyone. Take now, what is this retail for, Tyler? What is this book? I'm just, I'm kind of freaking out. 89 This retails for $89.99. It's $20 today. And you're throwing. And you're still not going to be able to sell it. You can't even give this shit away. You have all this inventory. You're like, we got to move this. We got to pay the rent. We need to like, my God, we're going to have to put this in our basement. My books in. Okay. All and right. you will see the exact same material in other stores, name brand stores, Nordstrom's, Saks. It, you'll see it. And it's really in Nordstrom and Saks. It's so incredible. It'll be like these luxury goods that might appear in the Finmore store or maybe, maybe the Finn store. We don't know. They are definitely going to have diapers and detergent and luxury items like this vegan leather backpack with a pop of color on the inside <laughs> yours today for only 20 dollars, and you can get my very first book where i'm wearing the shark penis suit and all i do is copy and paste portions of napoleon hill's bullshit scam of a book too in there and then comment all right i want you to imagine uh, a croissant and then see how many times the next week you see a croissant come up. Holy fuck. I just realized my dreams and I manifested $10 million. 2024 is going to be great. <laughs> a beautiful bag when you get your hands on it. And just so you know, before you bring up that pink. We only bag, have 50 of these, right? You only got 50 of those. Yeah, yeah thank so, you. Yeah. Okay, so these. Uh, so yeah. what's going on here? You got all these boxes of all this shit. So why is it that everything you're selling, you only have 10 or 20 of, or only 50 of, unless this is a lie, unless this is maybe deception saying, oh, we have to create FOMO, but we have to do so deceptively. No, I just have to let you know, we only have 20 of these. People are going to be like, just forget it. I'm not even going to buy it. There's no way I'm going to get in on it. They're so confused. They've offered, they've offered so many mixed up things like 
is every book getting $20 or just the one has a $20 and which has the hundred dollar bill in it. And is like all of that bag going to get the vibrational money immersion book in it too. Like, Oh, I just, just forget it. This is just too much. I went in and it's just way too confusing. So I'm not going to buy anything at all. There's only 50 of them. Everyone needs a battery. Well, what's in all these boxes then? Yes. And wouldn't this and go I want to give a shout out to Ralph. Ralph's just got two entries for the two tickets to Faith Over Fear. Becky got an entry. Uh, Vicky gets uh You get an entry? You're like, everybody's gonna win. Are you gonna get a discount code? This is the thing. You're now on another list. You're in another funnel. That's what's going on here. Uh, three entries. Way to go, Vicky. Vicky uh, Bounting. Because you spent money, so you get entries, and it's like way to go. Oh and uh, Stephanie, oh, not there. Uh, okay, yeah, just a few more shots. Congratulations! Outs. Yay! Congratulations! You got an entry. For every twenty-five dollars spent today, you're getting a ticket into uh, a, a raffle ticket into winning two tickets to Faith Over Fear Live. Yeah, you're gonna get a ticket to enter to win two tickets. There you go. See, you can always count on the Higdon group to make it very simple. It's never complicated. It's always very, very easy. It's kind of like a, an MLM compensation plan. It just makes sense. <laughs> makes total sense. Very exciting. Faith Over Fear is going to be amazing. It's going to be so amazing. There's going to be so many incredible speakers. I can't wait. I can't wait to see less and less people show up at this thing. <laughs> Um, and we need it. We need faith over fear these That's days, right. don't we? Absolutely. Yeah. That's we really do need faith over fear, especially faith in us. That's what we, these days, especially is that, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Can you see my crucifix in the fucking count with my sequin coat? Nobody even in a game show wears a coat like that. It's a fucking blazer. <laughs> Oh my God. That's why we named it that. I just, I just added yesterday, you don't even know this. I just added a There's big a lot of time things I don't know. Speaker. That's true. You're right about that. <laughs> a big time pastor yesterday who's going to be speaking at Faith Over Fear. I can't say his name. Ah, uh, a big time yesterday, two days ago, when I was at the drive through, and then I spoke to the person who last year 10x their business after I spoke at Grant Cardone's thing three years ago, and then 52 blocks away after I had invested $1,395. Then the pastor's going to speak at my event next year. I mean, I mean, our event. I can't say who, but it's going to be big. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be impressive. I can't really say anything yet. So I'm just going to like say nothing. <laughs> All these poor people watching it. These are the diehards, you know, they're so brainwashed. Oh, he's that big time. Huh? He's big time. Oh, Thou that big time. Thousands. He, he, he pastors to thousands every single week in the Florida pastors to thousands every single week and he's going to show up at your event well that's good because i know more and more uh, christians are speaking out against this bullshit they don't fucking like it at all they don't like their faith being manipulated they don't like this um prosperity gospel nonsense they don't like being defrauded this is now a wildfire area that's all i'm going to tell you oh very exciting okay um so we have these battery packs. Everyone needs a battery pack. You need you need to have these on your person at all times. Keep them in your purse. Keep them in your, your new fancy pink bag. Why do you need a battery pack on your person at all times? Keep it on you forever because we're in a cult. You've got this branded little thing and you need it because God forbid you would need to do a Facebook live video to promote our new Faith Over Fear event, which has this amazing pastor who pastors to thousands of people every week. And then maybe you're going to have somebody message you and you could have signed them up on the spot, but no, you ran out of juice. And all you had to do was plug it in to our battery backpack, our battery pack that is in your vegan leather backpack with a little pocket at the bottom. <laughs> backpack, and nice Navy and backpack. I like them. You they're know, sometimes nice the battery packs are like big, like hamburgers, yeah, right? These, see. these are, this is like, these are like cuisine, right? Here. Even thinner like, than an iPhone. Nice and, nice and thin. And um, we have this nice and thin, not like a big fat. So hamburger, we want it thin, nice and thin. 
beautiful. I like them nice and thin. <laughs> it's so fucking creepy. Full pink one. We only have 50 of these. Only 50. Okay. So, um, I they probably have 49 now. <laughs> Nobody bought any. They're like, oh, fuck. I'm not going to throw in anything with these, probably, because I know these are going to go really quickly. How much quickly. are these selling for? Uh, 10. They're normally, they're normally 20. They're going for 10. Yeah, these and are 50% off. So they're 10 bucks. 10 bucks. No brainer. I would grab a few of these. No brainer. Like, like, think about this. So let me just paint this scenario. You're at your company convention, okay? You're at a large group awareness training. You have spent money to fly there. You've booked a room in a hotel for a number of days. You are um, not getting enough sleep and you're not getting enough food. You're not getting enough um, water because you're at a large group awareness training where you're going to swear that you have so many breakthroughs. You're going to maybe even cry and feel like you've had so much transformation, yet you won't be able to say exactly what happened because your mind has just been manipulated. You've just attended something where you feel like you've had an emotional outburst, you might, you might be like crying, you feel like so amazing, but you've just been manipulated to get that emotional response to then make you addicted to come to the next one. You've had no breakthrough. There has been no transformation. You've attended a large group awareness training. You're in a cult. So we'll go step by step here. Picture this. Uh, half of your team, their phones are dying. Half of your team, their phones are dying. These are adults. They probably have already purchased their own little back battery pack things. But you take care of your team because you're like, you're their upline. Half of your team, you need to cast a vision of what you want to happen. You're going to have hundreds of people. You're going to have 50 people there. How many people do you want in your downline? You said you wanted $10 million. Well, what is your next step? You need to write your goals down. What are you going to do next? How many people are you going to prospect? Are you going to get to the large group awareness training? Oops, I mean your company convention. How many of these battery packs do you think you might need? You think you are only going to have two people there? I think that's playing small. You want to show up powerfully. You want to play to win. So I suggest. If you want to envision a bit, you know, buy 10 of these. If you buy 10 of these, you're going to be acting in abundance. That's going to attract the right people to you. And remember, you only attract who you are, not what you want. That's why you need to attend our large group. Oops, I'm saying it again. Our event, your company event, to work on yourself. Not only can they not take notes, they're distracted. Now they're back and they, they, they're, everyone's plugging in. A fire is caused. Everyone, no, okay, too far? Wow, no, it's so stupid because it would never happen because all these people are um, independent adults. They're already prepared. They don't need mama or papa upline to have a spare ba battery pack in case their phone dies because God forbid they would unplug their phone or not immediately write about what they're learning at their large group awareness training. This is a reach. Too far. But keep your people focused at your conventions. Give them one. By buying them a, ba a battery pack. You need to keep your people focused. They can't be going outside and getting some fresh air or just maybe taking a pause, going to have a bathroom break. No, they need to stay there. You need to keep them focused because that's a, that's what you need to do in a cult, not in a business. You know, proper business meetings, they factor in that people learn best when there's a number of breaks. And they look at people. They're like, how's this energy level? Let's break early and take an extended lunch. That's what really happens. But in a cult, it's all about behavior, information, thought, and emotional control. See, I could speak really fucking quickly, too. It's just not scripture. These things or have them win it, however you want to do it. And, and so help them out. Help them to stay focused by having their, their phone fully charged and not plugged into the- Helping them stay focused by having their phone really fully charged. Because you know, when your phone is fully charged, then you can be scrolling on Instagram and Facebook. Maybe you come across my TikTok video where I'm like uh, making fun of Ray. <laughs> Maybe you come across my YouTube video and you have your fucking earbud in, you're like, holy shit. Oh my God, I'm right at this Faith Over Fear Live right now. She was in Rank Makers? Definitely. Definitely buy them a battery pack. <laughs>
He's an incredible salesperson. You can see why he was the number one network marketing person in his company. Yes. And if you get 10, let's say you get 10 battery okay. packs. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> I don't know. There's only 50 now. There's only 50. So if you get 10. What you're doing, but go ahead. We're going to throw in a... Uh, we're gonna throw in a. We're gonna throw in my last brain cell. I'll autograph it. It can fit on a grain of rice. <laughs> a journal. A journal. A ninety-day journal. Ninety-day journal, okay. which we'll talk about this. The ninety-day journal. I've got a ninety-day journal. Oh, this is my um from my person here. Oh fuck! I've got so much stuff from this person that sent me their things. Could I even have these? Are paddles? Oh yeah, this is this is Ray and this is Jessica. Those <laughs> in a bit, but okay. I have another cute bundle I want to put together for those. But, okay. okay. Um, so yeah, so if you get ten of those, we're gonna throw in a ninety-day activity tracker journal. Wow. These are very helpful, especially for teammates to keep uh, keep their productivity actually accountable. And just and those retail for twenty-five bucks. You can get them ten bucks today. Uh, but you're throwing in. I can't find it. I don't know where it is, but I did find it. Look at this. I found the Eric Warre GoPro. Oh my God. I remember I had <laughs> another work of art. <laughs> These are 50% off. Yeah. So they're getting uh, $200, 225 for a hundred bucks. Wow. What? Yeah. So for a hundred dollars, they get ten of these. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Throwing that yes. in, so that's yeah. two hundred twenty-four dollars worth of value. Yeah, I can't do that. For hundred dollars. Yes. I know. <laughs> He's like, "Fuck, I some good somebody can do math here." My business is tanking. You're just giving shit away. Cause you just like glitter, <laughs> like to make up pink glitter. Prospecting journals, the vegan leather backpack with the color that pops. Where in the fuck did that journal go? I don't know where it went. It's here somewhere. I don't know where it is, but we're not missing anything. We're going to see it. This one's also fucking pink. I had one that was like paisley. I had like bright neon pink personally, but then I threw it out. And then um, the person that uh, sent me stuff, theirs was paisley. Absolutely. Yeah. That's that's what this is. And um, they're really beautiful. Look, I like to have something that looks nice. Because Fuck, you never use any of this shit. So this is like, they're selling all this stuff. They never used any of this stuff when they were in multi-level marketing. This is just made up shit for you to buy. So many of us wasted so much money where you would write the date down. So today's date is April the 7th. I have no idea when this video is coming out. April 7th, uh, 2024, uh, hairstylist in Tucson. I always use Tucson as an example. And then um, follow up, says her kid has cancer and uh, follow up. Oh yeah, we put shit like that. And then we'll follow up in four days, the four day follow up, and then the seven day follow up and the 30 day follow up and then the 60 day follow up and the 90 day follow up. And then you follow up until they die. And you write it all in this special journal that's from rank makers. You could just like fucking write it down in a book, but no, no, no. You need to get this special thing. I, I like things that are really nice and I have one of every color and I have a bag of every color. Like, fuck, I'm just still mystified how I did, how the fuck did I follow these people for so many years? Because <laughs> you're not going to open it if it doesn't look nice. It's going to. That's totally it. Like, because I don't judge a book by its cover, you guys. I am not going to open a book unless it looks nice. In fact, I have never really opened up a book at all. I don't even know what the point is. If it's not pink and has glitter on it, like, what is the point? Is there going to be information inside there that could maybe instruct me, maybe teach me something? No, I don't think so. If it's not even nice looking, especially with pink and some hearts and some glitter, maybe with something about faith on there, there is no reason for me to open it. Seriously, it's totally feminine energy. <laughs> Sit there, it's another black book you know, on like, your I shelf. I feel like guys would, but you know, I get it. Yeah, no, but there's a lot of- I feel like people would just pick up a fucking book and use it. But then again, I'm no longer in a fucking cult. <laughs> Women that they yeah. like having that feel the yeah. go for it. Like the, nice it's just, it feels good when you're writing in it. And so it feels so good when you're writing in it. Like you feel so gross when you're sending messages out to people saying, Hey hon, <laughs> I know we don't know each other, but I see that you're on a weight loss journey. 
can you tell me what you've tried in the past to learn the to lose those pesky last 10 pounds? I'm just curious. This may or may not be a fit for you. But my weight loss journey was successful after I purchased this prospecting journal. It's so beautiful. It's pink. It has feminine energy. A lot of the women are going to, they're going to open it up and they're going to write all the people that they've prospected. Fuck. You can't even make this shit up. How many people have wasted years of their lives with these two? So how can you possibly scale your business if you have no track you have no activity tracking of what you've done in the past. And so that's why we created these physical ones. Yep. There's a lot of online ones. Online, sometimes it just kind of goes into the cloud and yep. you don't know what happened to it. Um, here, you can actually look back and say, you know what, I talked. I know, like all these tracking apps where you just like, this is how ludicrous this is. You know, you just type it in and then it just, I don't, I don't know where it went. It just went into the cloud. It's like, just open your fucking app. It's like called Keep Notes. No, it just went somewhere. It just went into the clouds. Like, oh, thank goodness I have this like physical hard copy where I can scale my business. I can scale my multi-level marketing cultic fraud where over 99% of people are losing money to pay the people at the top of this these scams. Their paychecks come from the people at the bottom. And then people, again, are spending money in another fucking cult. This thing. Oh my God. Eugene yes. Yesterday at five o'clock yeah. and I didn't follow up with him. That might yeah. be why he's not responding to me. So like to me, to me, the most valuable part of the journals is you fill them up, you keep them. Okay. So you put them up on your, you keep them, you put them up on the shelf. And then when your company has a contest, you can pull those out from the shelf and you can go back and you can then hit that next company rank or that next incentive trip and just go through all those people that you had prospected this is going to win so many people prizes like fuck, we heard this this is old at least 2018 anyway which isn't old in terms of you know amway-esque but it's just funny because he doesn't have any new material except his stewardship and governance and then whatever the fuck he said which was just nonsense anyway shelf and then when your company has a contest you go you know what let me just see who i need to follow up with and boom that is that is and and boom who do i have to follow up with all these people that said no to you get stop it this is a pyramid scheme this is a cult i don't want you contacting me anymore but you're going to go pick it up off the shelf and you're going to be like boom that's the person i need to follow up with i won the company incentive trip he's been saying the same shit for so long and it doesn't work it doesn't make any sense <laughs> it just sounds good when you're brainwashed you're like oh this sounds so right i'm going to make all this all this investment of my time prospecting thousands of people i'm going to diligently write my their names and their little information in there even though most people don't respond and just ignore you and then you're going to put it on your shelf and then you're going to purchase more of this shit. you're going to have all these books and then you're going to take it out when you're you're just trying to fucking rank up you're just trying to get more than what 20 dollars a week is this is just money that that you'll be printing every single time you reach back up there because you're going to find new people you're going to be printing money no no money was ever printed people that you haven't followed up with in a while and so that's why it's it's just so powerful easy to get lost digitally but um it isn't that easy to get lost digitally <laughs> it's actually quite easy to be found digitally it's easy to get lost it all goes up into the cloud it just it's up there all my work it's just gone somewhere it's this thing called the cloud very powerful so if you get 10 of any of the battery packs uh we're going to give you one of those yeah. and this one's kind of cool because it says top earner club on it um and reminds you you know this is the club you're a part of step into that Boom. so there Boom. You go. um go ahead babe what, what do we got okay all right what do we want to talk about now? All right. So you may have noticed that, uh, or maybe you haven't, I've been drinking from our, our faith over fear cup here. Excuse me. Oh my God. I had one of those when it was Higdon group. It was cause I spent so much money. They sent me this fucking thing. Now it's been rebranded with. And so this is, this is my, my personal one. Well, mine didn't have a handle. Look at this. I actually kind of discarded the, the top and, and cover. So let me show you a, uh, brand new one. 
but this is Faith Over Fear uh, Business Summit Cups. Super, super high quality, super nice. Like, uh, you know, you got your choice. You can you can walk around with something that says Faith Over Fear. Or and everybody will know you're in a commercial cult. Or you can support Starbucks, right? I mean, yeah, no, let's support the Higdon Group. I hear they're a fantastic company. No, like, so let's shit on Nike, Nordstrom, and now Starbucks. That tracks with multi-level marketing. Trying to insult as many people as they can because they can't sell their own products because they're so inferior and everything relies on deception and just insulting people. And this isn't even, like, this is just a coaching cult. How desperate they are. Are you going to support Starbucks? Yes. Your call. Um, I think Faith Over Fear. That's your call. Let's, let's, I'm going to try to guilt you into purchasing this. It's so funny because he would train us not to do this. Oh my God. This video was such a mistake to make. More powerful. I think that will uplift more people. And so what is, uh, I know that we have a big discount on these, but you don't, we don't. It's going to uplift more people? I have that many of these. I don't feel like. Yeah. Yeah. They were forty eight ninety nine. Okay. The event. They're twenty. So these were now. these retail for forty eight dollars and ninety nine cents. We're selling them today for twenty dollars, twenty bucks. Less, less than twenty five. And we have like twenty five of these. All these people talking in the background. It's just chaos. So these these will sell out very very quickly. And so there is that. Um, you'll notice, like, if you're again, if you're wanting gifts for your team. Uh, all of these different books. I mean, the VMI book for two dollars is is just insane. Pretty sad. And one of you is going to get a twenty dollar bill because I taped it into the. One of you, little peons, is going to get twenty dollars taped in there from me. <laughs> You're so lucky. What an investment. The inside cover. And um, <laughs> just oh, I got to throw this in. With just something. added that. Oh, something we just added. This was not available last week. <sighs> this is sold out though, right? No, we're good. Oh, okay. And so yeah. we have oh, not the freakishly effective guide to social media. Savvy Writes Books did a review on this book, and it was I was still in multi level marketing at the time. I was still in Rank Makers at the time, and then when I left, I I saw her video. I'm like, oh fuck, <laughs> it's good. Like the book is shit. It's so brutal. It's so stupid. But I remember like I bought it. I thought it was amazing. I purchased 10 of them and I had given them out to each team member that I recruited. Our leadership book for network marketers. Yeah, there's the freak freakishly effective leadership for network marketers. Such a catchy title. And so freakishly effective leadership for network marketers. We have never offered this for $5, but you can get it for $5 today. And we also have dun, 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 Spanish. And hey, we finally got it. So we can prey upon the Spanish speaking population. And so we have it, uh, the same book in Spanish. We do not have a ton of Spanish resources, uh, but this is one of them. And um, and so I uh, highly recommend you can get that at a deep, deep discount as well. And uh, for those, I see people asking for the link. The link is right there, higdengroup.com forward slash shop. And that will list out all the different things that we have at, at deep discounts. Um, I want to quickly show the different colors and things that we have in the journals because they're 10. We have pink, we have vanilla pink, we have beige pink, we have pinky pink. <laughs> and if you were going to get one thing for your team. Well, actually, I would recommend two things if you're really looking to accelerate your team. Because if you're really looking to accelerate your team, I would suggest um, just buying stuff from us. And that will make your network marketing team like absolutely accelerate. How do I know? Well, because I'm telling you. It's straightforward. This is money in their pockets and money in your pocket. Yeah. Um, it's money out of your pocket. This is so brutal. It would be this tra these trackers. I think it's important to get back to physically keeping something in front of you that you... Because you need to get rid of your shit. That's why. That's it. God, this was such a mistake to make this video. You see every day. Um, this is a gaming household, by the way. And we've kind of gotten away from that, hence the progress planner as well. Um, when I learned what teabagging was, I'm like, that's awesome. <laughs> 
you know, that that's something. You didn't know that you could get in trouble for teabagging yeah, someone. Wow. I'm like, that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> I think physical that actually keeps you on track, but we have some really cool. It's like truck nutting someone or something, you know? Cool designs here. These are incredible. That was me like teabagging someone. <laughs> incredible team gifts. Okay. And, or contest winners for a contest that you host for your team, Absolutely. they will go as an avatar, like in the game. If I was a soldier, <laughs> and I had balls <laughs> Gaga over these and it, again, it helps them as well. Um, and, and helps you as the team leader. So this is something to consider. Even when somebody joins you handing this to someone who who's brand new, who joins your team and say, if you fill this out, you will see results is very and that's bullshit that's a false claim as well but these are scammers they don't give a shit very very powerful um so we have these they're 10 bucks okay 10 bucks and let's say if you get 10 of these i bet you that's what is in all these boxes just scads of these journals these what are we gonna throw in 10 of them. throw in 10 of them for every 10 they get another 10. <laughs> just fill them up <laughs> so, uh... I don't know, babe. What would you like to throw in? Um, okay. I already threw in my last brain cell. I don't know what else I can throw in. Okay, so if you get 10 of these, we are going to throw in a ring light. <laughs> oh, too close to two and a half hours into this video and they mentioned the ring light. It was all worth it just to come to this point for the ring okay. light. Okay. Wow. We haven't even gotten to the ring lights Holy yet. Moly. So it's so just... show let me here, I'll 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 show oh, this. Okay. No. All right, you show the ring light. Not the ring light with the incredible extended the bendable arm that you is so durable and you can clip literally anywhere. When I travel with it, I use this for all my live videos that I do. It lights up, you can toggle through the different colors and the different like level of brightness no other ring light does this i used to buy other ring lights the ring lights they would fall apart but then ours ours is durable and it also comes with a lifetime warranty so when the clamp breaks you can just write our customer service and you can get a new clamp i bet you it hasn't changed at all let's see and so really cool. first of all um i used to travel so as you know i i create a lot of videos right more than most i would say a and, lot of shit videos a lot of bad videos and and i create them even if i'm traveling the only thing i travel with anymore I used to is this light it's amazing it's so fucking amazing <laughs> to travel with a great big tripod and uh, you know all, all kinds of stuff okay the only thing I travel with all these people in multi-level marketing have their little fucking ring light. And they're like, I got to make, I got to do my live video. I need to let everybody know about this incredible flash sale that's going on right now. It's true. It takes over your life, you know, with now. And I actually have uh, three of these that I keep in different suitcases in case I'm just, you know, packing up. Oh, you're so busy. They have like pre-packed suitcases, three suitcases. Three different ring lights for three suitcases. Wow, you must be like an important network marketing person. Nobody who in their fucking right mind has was do that unless you're in a fucking cult. Nobody does this outside of network marketing. This is nuts. Just with me at all times is our ring light. Okay. Now we have up until last week, we had never, not one time ever put our, our ring light which means it probably has happened the more they protest the more you know it there's bullshit on sale um but this is all i travel with now we do have i i doubt i bet been on sale before there bud many of you have the ring light you probably don't have the bag which is on on sale today um, oh i had the bag it didn't have the purple lining but even when i was in there i had the bag um, but this ring light which we designed and hang on here's the fucking ring light now if you were in rank makers even if you weren't you know the ring light let's settle in for the ring light we designed lore. it is because i i understood just the need to have a good travel ring light and uh and just how crappy most of them are okay and so this one you know like i just here showed we go it up real nice in there it looks looks fantastic and it's just so different i mean it's just oh. strong it's sturdy uh this thing right here you know, listen, if you can hear it, like, look, notice how wide it opens, opens super wide. 
very strong. This thing, I have clipped to stop signs. I've clipped to stairwells. <laughs> I've clipped to. Can you imagine you're in Florida and you see this fucking guy at a stop sign and he's clipped it to a stop sign. He's like, I just had to do a live video right now. I just see there happens to be uh, like, are you fucking kidding me? A stop sign. Oh my God. Trash cans. I've, I've, I've clipped this, is, this, this clip has been clipped all over the world. Listen, listen to that. Beach chair. Isn't it amazing? Listen to that sound. This has been clipped all around the world. Fucking sign me up. I want one. <laughs> like, like I can't, <laughs> I can barely squeeze it with my two fingers. Um, and so it's, I just, I'm demonstrating how strong it is. This is quality. Now you you can go out there and get a ring light for 15 bucks. I guarantee you, if you do this sort of thing, it's going to droop. If you try to clip it on something, it either breaks or it's not very powerful at all. And it also, it's so easy to travel. Yeah, like, get, the, get the case with that. Thing. The case is five bucks. Yeah, get the case the is case. five bucks. And it's, we designed it for it the here. ring light or for any cords that you have. This yeah. Velcro's <laughs> off and on. So that's... Yeah super simple yeah it's nice and that'll fit right in and your so, new backpack and you need and it'll fit right in your new backpack and then all the journals that you're going to purchase so then you can go and work on your network marketing business and your team will be accelerated and then we'll see you at faith over fear live where we will uh talk uh we'll cross boundaries make really inappropriate um comments really inappropriate speeches to make you uncomfortable um, really fuck with your mind and then get you to spend some more money with us. And you'll be really feeling like you've achieved some kind of personal transformation and growth. You'll be so happy and grateful here and be sure to tag us as well. All right, everyone. <laughs> is that it? I don't know, babe. Uh, this is crazy. I don't know what you're going to add next. Well, I would like to add in something pink and sparkly to this. <laughs> Oh my God. What I believe my wife just said is if you buy 10 of these, you're throwing in a ring light. Yeah. This is crazy. They're already on sale, babe, but okay. All right. Okay. Well, I'm this is crazy. They're already on sale, babe. All right. Okay. That's what I said. That is what I said. Uh, I don't know what you just said, but are you? I'll uh, tell you what, I'm going <laughs> to, I'll do something funky. Like I, I was just, we had so much fun last weekend. I wanted, I, I did something irrational. It didn't really make sense. Call yourself a prophet? Oh no, no, that was longer than last week. What could it possibly be? Buy that jacket? <laughs> Plan on wearing it? <laughs> sense. So I- Wouldn't be the- Paid a compliment to someone without expecting anything in return? No, that would never happen. <laughs> take accountability for abusing people no let's not get that crazy holy fuck no well let's not go there i did something totally crazy first time hey wait a minute <laughs> wait a minute and so i actually went and and this is this makes no sense right because we're trying to reduce inventory i went and bought gifts just to sneak in your bags okay and so i went ty was making fun of me and so I want to show you a couple things. Uh, as many of you know, uh, both my wife and I gave our life to Christ 15 months ago. And, and so I got some gifts that I'm going to randomly, randomly throw Are in. Are you fucking so, kidding me? There we go. Look at this. You can't even make this shit up. The disgusting faith manipulation. He can't even look at the camera when he talks about this. Have you seen this? Oh, and uh, when we gave our lives to Christ 15 months ago, and then we do, it's almost like, even that, the, the level of fucking deception and how he has messed with people's fades, with this whole act is so disgusting. I went out and I bought some crosses. I'm gonna sneak into your purchase. It's such a gift. so disgusting go, you can go and show that i got i got a few of these i don't have a, a ton of them so i can't guarantee you on every purchase but um we're i'm gonna start i'm gonna throw some of these gifts in and we got i got different colors i just wanted to jazzy it up um so there's that one 
a little, little different, a little Ooh, different. Some gold, very pretty. I think these might be the same. I'm not sure. This is like watching, a, like a, it must be like a paparazzi jewelry party or something. Like they're doing this on Facebook. Is that what they do? I'm not, I'm kind of unfamiliar with paparazzi. Either. Is this one of the companies where they actually, they have to have the product that they have to sell and then they have, like, look, look at, look at this. Like, look at this. Look, look at this. Look at this. This is so fucking great. It's like shaking. It's just like, this is, this is it. This is, this is how I do my business. I had this dress. This is from 1991. That's why I'm not standing up that much. Because it was a little tight getting over my ass. But everything else, it still fits. It's a fucking magic of Gen X, I'm telling you. <laughs> but it makes a great gift. You know, you may have someone in your life. I think this one, is that the same? I think it's the same, yeah. Same, okay. Yep. And you know so we got, we, got a, we got a handful of these that we're going to throw in. Another great and, gift. Um, and also, here's something, babe, if you want to. A gift, if you want. If you want to throw that in. There's, I only have a few left. They only have a few left of everything. I only have a few left. I have this. You want to put this as a few? I only have a few. I bought this. But then I want to sneak this. We only have a few. Nobody's going to get anything. <laughs> this is so confusing. One is like the first 20 people that purchase this bag or the next 25 people that purchase this. Wow. Yeah, why not? Okay. Yeah, yeah. This, I'm going to surprise you. Oh, this is a oh. surprise gift oh my. for the next 10 orders. Oh. For the next, who's keeping track of this? They're like, okay, all right. Um, And who's going to even know? I thought I was the ninth order. You're never even going to know. You're not even going to get anything. Good luck getting your order in. I wonder how many even people ordered this shit. Oh, now we're doing 10 orders, okay? No, the next 10 orders. Okay. Yeah, well, we have a little surprise gift that we're going to throw you, in You there. tracking all this, Jeff? Yeah. <laughs> That's me making an inventory debacle, but okay. I'm sorry. Yes. I'm sorry. Okay. And I just want to give a shout out to uh, Samantha. Way to go. Samantha just got eight or no, seven, seven entries to the two tickets to Faith Over Fear. Way to oh. go, Samantha McLeod. Uh, Hosanna, uh, two ticket, two entries into the, the tickets. Uh, Trin Pyle, uh, one, one ticket. Uh, Patricia Gore, one ticket. Lisa Wright, one ticket. And these are raffle tickets. And we're going to draw them on. Uh... Yeah, we know. Why did I think this was going to be a good idea? Oh, yeah, the sequins. That's why. All right. Uh, Wednesday. On Wednesday, we're going to draw the winner of the two. This is such a dud video. Two tickets of Faith Over Fear. Any order over $25. Uh, it's like almost $500. I think so. Yeah. I think so. I'll, have to look, I'll look it up real quick. I'm actually not 100%. But uh, yes, what were you going to do? You were about to throw some stuff in. I rudely interrupted her. And so what, what no, are you throwing in No, I said for now? the first 10 orders, I'm going to throw in a surprise gift. Oh, that's it. You're just saying surprise gift. Yes. Oh, okay. I okay. mean, for now. All right, okay. I don't, what, so you just don't even know what it is. I'm just going to throw in a surprise gift. It's just going to be a surprise. <laughs> got it. What else do we got? We've got okay. a lot of fun things. Um, I'm looking up the ticket price. Like, what, what's the retail value of that? Okay, so you guys are like the home shopping network. Right? How many of true, but worse? Of these do we have? Of that one, 10. 10 of these. Yep, and of that one, 22. 22 of these. So $300 buy. $300, $300 value of, of the those two, tickets. Of the two tickets. So every $25. $300 value. My ass. <laughs> Spent. This oh, week. Fuck, it'll be like $97. You're going to get a free, and you're going to just get free member, or not free membership, free admission to Faith Over Fear Live. This is a $97 value. All you have to do is same as last year. Pay $97, and when you show up at the door, you're going to get refunded. This is a no-brainer. All you have to do is pay for your accommodations, your flight there. The entry is going to be absolutely free. We need you to pay in advance just so we know how many people are going to attend. But as soon as you get there, you're going to be refunded your $97, and we're going to hound you with text messages, phone calls, voice messages, and emails for the rest of your life. <laughs> Unless you take to social media and make such an inordinate amount of content calling me a fucking asshole that I eventually just fucking leave you alone. <laughs> then maybe you'll stop getting emails from us. Just, I'm just saying, maybe that's it. <laughs> and 
you're getting one ticket per 25 bucks entered into the drawing. Now, if you ordered anything last weekend over 25 bucks, you're gonna get one entry, okay? This weekend, one entry per 25. Mm -hmm. So the more you spend, the more likely you're gonna win those two tickets. And you can gift them, you can, you can sell them, you can do you know whatever you want with them. And why do they wanna be at Faith Over Fear? Oh, man. Well, because they're gonna level up their business. This is a large group awareness training because we are a cult. <laughs> we got people to brainwash, we got people to lie to, we've got more people that we can abuse and then uh, take more money from them. Ooh, can't fucking wait. Man, so faith over fear, you know, I just realized that we're at such an interesting time. We're at a time where, where more and more people are speaking out against me <laughs> and multi-level marketing. And I got to, I try to not let it bother me. <laughs> I try to ignore it. And for the most part, I've done a pretty good job. Because you know what happens when you do stick your neck out? You just keep getting more and more attention. Shit that you don't want brought up, brought to light. <laughs> but we're in interesting times these days, aren't we? Where network marketing should be grown by leaps and bounds. But the reason that a lot of companies aren't is, is because people are leaving because they realize that these are frauds and that multi-level marketing is also, they're cultic, they're cultic frauds, they're commercial cults. But it's not growing by leaps and bounds because most are collapsing and um, especially the younger generation well done gen z leading the way with refusing to get sucked into this nonsense fuck i wish i was i wish i had my shit together when i was your age i thought i did because this got me when i was in my 40s so you're ahead of us there thank you and so many uh younger generations making content that have contributed to the anti-MLM movement, helping people like me get out. And um, let's see what else. Just people ref people boycotting multi-level marketing because uh, because it's it's fraud. They've seen their friends, their family, their coworkers get screwed over. They've seen their personalities change. Somebody left a comment um, on one of my recent videos. They were just dating someone. They got into frequency, and their person her personality just changed right away already they're like this is a cult i don't want anything to do with it so that's why it's not growing by leaps and bounds that's why your business isn't going to grow by leaps and bounds either is that it has been such a non-focused or prioritization of god industry for quite a long time oh that's why we need to bring god back into it and then that's why it'll grow that's a reach too and in prayer i got very clearly that one of my missions it's so prayer you gotta you gotta just pray that multi-level markets like when all else fails it's like just pray please god i need to have someone recruited into my team so i can hit the next rank please if i attend faith over fear live god will answer my prayer because ray has a special connection with god if this video helps one person, I'm happy. ...is to make God more the priority inside of network marketing. And so... Uh, make God more of a priority in network marketing. It's not even network marketing. This is a scam. MLM are pyramid schemes. They're frauds. So you need to make God the priority. You think God would like that? God is like, yes, definitely make me more of a priority in these scams. And then say to everybody that says it's a scam, call them a demon. Lie, cheat, defraud, exploit. And call everybody. It's like, no, no, I, I'm in this. I'm in, put God, put me back in network marketing. Are you fucking kidding me? The desperation. Faith over fear. Yes, you're going to learn all the latest, greatest business strategies, social media secrets, all, all that stuff. But there are no social media secrets. It's the same tired shtick over and over again. He's still selling this book, for God's sakes. This fucking thing. Are you kidding me? That's what he's got with the pyramid scheme? You know, there's people now that they know about the two-pronged Costcott pyramid scheme test. People that are in multi-level marketing. Do you know what to do when people that are in multi-level marketing are sharing anti-MLM content amongst each other? 
how do you do that? And you're like, oh no, but they have a point. This is actually true about this. <laughs> it's the latest and greatest. It's crumbling and it's beautiful to see. There's going to be more and more people that get out of this stuff and get their lives back, you know? You're also going to learn how to actually walk in a godly way, men and women, and, and build a, a powerfully stewarded business that helps others, that puts God first. And when you put God first and you make him your source and you make money a resource, your resources actually grow. Ah, uh, that's the next, so this, this is the next thing here, is that, well, you're not being godly enough. Why is your business failing? Because you haven't put God first. Disgusting. I can see how people of faith, this would fuck with them so hard. Shame on you. This is revolting. Once you put God first, then the resources, then the money will come and give me money. Make sure you get to faith over fear. We're going to teach you how to put God first in your multi-level marketing. All of this is nonsense. It's just going to, we're going to use something that is so sacred, your, your belief system, your faith. And we're going to, we're going to use that against you. We're going to manipulate you. And you're going to believe that you're betraying God because you're not recruiting people into multi-level marketing. This is how desperate they are. It's becoming more and more obvious, but it's heartbreaking to see how many lives are being messed up with because of this. And so like that, the, the event is just going to transform you. Uh, if you, if you weren't at last year's, if you, you ever hear that word transform at a, and this is a large group awareness training. It's a cult. You don't become transformed. There's no transformation. This is just pure manipulation. You feel like you are. If you were to be asked what exactly happened, how did you transform? I just, I, I feel so incredible. I met these people who are literal millionaires. I know I can do it too. I have all these uplifting, motivational, positive stories. Yeah, but how did you transform? You just manipulated. It's by book. It's by, it's a cult playbook. It's very easy. They have something, music. They have the same fucking protocol. Doesn't matter what MLM company or even MLM coaching cult. You were at last year's. Drop a comment. What's your number one takeaway or what's your number? My number one takeaway was seeing Garrett McGraw use um, the death of someone. It might have, I think it was uh, on Unaliving, um, just that brought it up on Facebook to try to use that to manipulate people in at this event to show up for people because it's a life and death situation in multi-level marketing. But yesterday I had a big breakthrough and I've faced my fears and challenges and I shared with few speakers, Cap and Mary in the back, <clears throat> about what I was going through and they laid hands on me and they prayed with me right out there in the hallway and relieved me of all of my garbage. And here I stand today in front of all you family members. God bless you. Woo! I'm Paula and... Um, I think the most impactful was whose life is on the line because you're not willing to show up. You know, guys, yesterday, a, fr a really great friend of mine, I shared it, and I looked at la her post last night, Lori Boylard. You just don't know when people are hurting. Her daughter, because of drugs, took her life and took the life of her grandchild. And I'm saying this is that we just don't know there are people out there are hurting. And I'm not saying everyone didn't do enough. I'm not saying that at all. What I'm trying to say is there are people out there hurting that we do need to realize we're doing worthy work. That when we show up, you know, what John C. Maxwell says, servant leadership is the willingness to give up so other people can get up. And sometimes it's giving up of your ego and your time just to reach out, slow down, give them a hug, acknowledge who they are, and you can make a difference. Can we commit that that is one shift that we will make in our lives and understand as we go forward? Because you never know when somebody like they, he said the person's name. I don't think ask permission whether they could use this. It's like, oh, I saw this person died. And this is why you need to show up for your multi-level marketing business because you don't know when somebody is so depressed that you reaching out to them like with this incredible business opportunity or opportunity or life-saving product could literally save their lives i think that was my favorite part and i only watched a small bit of it just in like little pieces i think dc covered it very extensively thank goodness for dc <laughs> 
or the guy that said pant for me that was really fucking weird and so gross but also so good to show how fucked up rank makers is and multi-level marketing that people are like clapping and laughing and thinks that this is normal maybe you should get marcus setta there is he then is he a pastor now is he going to get a woman up on stage and grab her boob dress up like jim carrey and everybody's going to be like this is amazing or is he going to dress up like a prisoner and have a light shining on down he's going to be like really serious and talk about how everybody that has a job is brainwashed you can't even make this shit up for one how would you describe faith over fear if you were at last year's faith over i would describe it as a cult oh no i clicked i have got to stop this is horrible stewarded business way to go way to go awesome congratulations Okay. Um, so are you doing that? Okay. So this is, uh, okay. uh, Robin says she doesn't see the phone holders. If you go to oh. Higdon group.com forward slash shop, I think they're, I think they're on there. It might be on page two, right? There's two, I believe there's two pages. Oh, yeah, um, the but we're going to throw this one. in. We don't even have any time, money, freedom books left to sell. We sold out last. There it is. <laughs> a work of art. Week. Um, but this is not one. That you can get and and so um i'll go ahead uh, i'll start. but those are two bucks right buy 10 of them have out your time blocking your color coding do that let me pick one of my favorites okay you can't bag, 20 bucks you got the ring light and the bag 20 bucks this is included you got some additional stuff here easy to travel with and it has uh you know there's you know day seven matthew 5 44 uh, we got day five, Matthew eleven twenty eight to 30. Or you could just like bring your Bible. But why do that when you could give Ray Higdon your money instead? Makes so much more sense. That will explode your multi-level marketing He's such business. such an important one. Oh, my goodness. My friend Ray and Jessica, and like just say, oh, this is an event I went to uh, to help build my home business. Do you know anyone that is looking to build a home business? Because I've actually learned a lot of stuff and I can teach you, right? So use it as a conversation to help you build your business, which is the point of all of this stuff. The point of all this stuff isn't for us to just sell it and then it sits in your closet. It's for you to actually use it, right? Use the progress journal, use the 90 day journal. And then keep buying more because you'll be using it. Use the battery pack, use all this stuff to grow your business, to grow your life, to grow and help you here but this actually is interchangeable. oh no so you this off if you want, want that to, thing keep it on for the blank i was on the uh reality show we're almost done i i fucked it up i'm glad i did i glad i clicked this is going to be shooting for two hours and this is just nothing has happened and i've just been like <sighs> use at every day and and we have some special guests <gasps> yes uh oh look. And i'm gonna hide this because i think they're um Get For anybody out. who gets a crossbody, I'm gonna throw in a uh, mystery now. piece of jewelry. Hey, Ami. Whoa, look at that. Wow. Maybe one of you will get this in your bag. Uh, Where'd you get that? Hey, Sabrina Bear. Get... She's trying to make it. Whoa, hi. hi. Okay, let's see. Let's hear. Whoa, look at all that. I think I'm gonna delete this video. If it shows up, I don't know what the point of this was. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video.